So, uh, that's like a sit rep. It's a Friday night. Your boy's feeling good. I'm doing Christmas shopping today. And I've got a pint of beer. And an on PS2 racing game to play. One that I've been looking forward to sharing with you on the stream. <clears throat> I attempted to once before. And then my stomach rage queer. Tonight, I'm going to give it another go. So let's get into it. Welcome in, everyone. <laughs> How is everyone doing? I hope you're all well. My microphone is working fine. Yep, that's good. Super Mike is here. And what's fantastic, JBS319 is also here. That's also fantastic. But uh, what's especially fantastic about Super Mike tonight is that he is 100% good. Friend of the channel, one of our mods. And um, all around amazing human. He's been very poorly lately. Two separate trips to the hospital. Uh, he's a fighter, though. We love him very much. And to hear that he's... Uh, in a much better place, physically and mentally. It's a great thing to see. So, uh, round of applause for uh, for Mike to start off tonight. <coughs> Rezzy's here as well. Gran Turismo but Bikes Pog. Yes, we're playing Gran Turismo 4 Bike Edition DLC, which is what we're basically playing here. And uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Let's do that. I would 100% buy a bike again if I lived in a less busy place with better roads. Yeah, my dad is the same. Having been a biker for 15, 20 years, uh, he sold his bike three years after I came along and has said he'd never ride a bike again. Not because he doesn't trust his own skills, but because he doesn't trust anyone else. Literally anyone else in the world. Um, aha. Now, if I remember rightly, it's PS2 games on this thing. You're getting, my, you're getting your booster in four hours. Oh, I'm expecting my weekend to consist of me sleeping and watching Twitch streams. Well, hopefully at least some of them will be entertaining. And, uh, you know, curious if my bike is in this game. It's a good question. Uh, no tourist trophy game day to present on memory card PS. Yeah, let's let's make some. Let's, let's make some, shall we? <clears throat> now, I actually have, although you can't really... You can't really... Uh, do like a proper net. Actually, I think it is, but it's the big boy top of the line version. Ooh, intriguing. Just driving by to say hi. I need to go to bed now. I was going to say, Rezzy, I think it's quite late for you. So before Hitch gets in here and shouts at you to go to bed. <laughs> See you around, bud. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate your company. Um, so, yeah, welcome to Zurich Trophy. Uh, it is Gran Turismo 4 Bike Edition DLC. Literally. This came out a year or two after Gran Turismo 4. Uh, my favorite racing game of all time. 2.15 a.m., yes, yeah, do a sleep. <laughs> do a sleep, please. Um, yeah, it came out, hence why I'm wearing my Gran Turismo shirt. It came out a year and a half, two years after Gran Turismo 4. And um, I love Gran Turismo 4. It's my favorite racing game of all time. And this game literally is Gran Turismo 4, but with motorbikes. I mean, some of you may already recognize this, this menu screen, the sounds, the menu sounds, the format. Yeah, same graphics. Same physics engine, same game engine, basically. Uh, same tracks roster. There's a few extra. Well, one extra that I can think of. Uh, similar career mode, similar single player vibe, but with motorbikes, which is cool, which is very cool. Why would you not use the best racing game of all time at the time to then make a bike racing version of the same? Like, that's why I call it the Bike Edition DLC. If... Um, it's 2.15 p.m. here. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. If you make the greatest racing game of all time for cars, why not let bikes have some of the fun as well? And um, it's weird. I've grown up mostly into cars, as you know. But bikes are actually a big part of my family's history. And I do like some motorbike. I do like me some motorbike racing now and again. Uh, my dad was actually a biker for about 10 to 15 years. Uh, ran various different bikes. His main pride and joy was an 1100cc Kawasaki. So a big, thick power boy, like a muscle bike. But he tuned it uh, and basically went street racing with it. He was South London's own Vin Diesel in the 1980s. Except with slightly less hip-hop and babes in bikinis draped all over his Mazda, his RX-7, or his Dodge Charger, more accurately. S swap out Vin Diesel's Dodge Charger for a thick boy Kawasaki. You've got a similar vibe. And, you know, LA, <laughs> streets of LA with streets of Chelsea Bridge in London. Um, 
So, yeah, he loved that for a, for a long, long time. He still regrets selling it, even though he doesn't want to ride a bike again because he doesn't trust other people on the roads. Wouldn't want me riding one, IRL. I would love to, I would love to ride one, well, maybe in a controlled environment, shall we say. But for now, we have games like this. Uh, this was... It's weird, because I want to say this was one of my first motorbike racing games I ever played. But that's a bold-faced lie. The first one I actually ever played may well have been the first racing game I ever played, which would have been... Actually, it can't have been, because Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament was my very first on the Mega Drive. And then on the same console, I ended up playing Super Hang On, which is the home console version of the arcade game at the same time. And it actually had a really cool little career mode in that game, where you could race and win prize money and upgrade your bike and hire new uh, mechanics and people like that. It was really cool. So, um, yeah, I kind of had a bit of bike racing gaming in my blood so to say, and a bit of bike racing just in my DNA, I guess. I think I've figured out what I'm doing on 16th of January if my COVID test comes back negative on the 15th. What is that? Fun fact, the Suzuki Katana had a pop-up headlight, because of course it did. Your, your toaster at home had a pop-up headlight in the 1980s. That's just the thing. Um, so what we're going to do here, I had the idea for this. You know me, I like coming up with a good alias, an alter ego, a, a character for these things. Um... So the other day, I randomly came up with the name Mike Brosnan <laughs> for a bike racer. Um, yeah, we can go with that. Oh, the Great Central Railway East Coast Week. Oh, that's interesting. So uh, what stuff's going to be running on that weekend? Mm. Road rash, hang on, but with violence. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, Nigel, we'll go with Nigel Brosnan. Uh, you can't do spaces in this, I don't think. Nige, <laughs> Nige L. Bronson, no. Nigel, N Nigel. <laughs> Actually, no, we're going to change that. They're running a torn, they're running tornado and a 50, they're running a deltic, oh boy. <laughs> and tornado, yeah, she's cool, I guess, uh, I guess, you know. Among others, I like that, yeah. bollocks it we'll just do it that way but we can be playing as a as an alter ego i did come up with the name mike brosnan Diltic. that was my first bike game road rash 2 i think you mentioned that before right your name enters is a jomica do you want to proceed with this name yes i want to proceed with the name a um, <laughs> please enter the rider's height i have a name uh i think my height is actually 185 the triangular thunderstorm yes maybe um, you're more than welcome to hop on the 9am out of St Pancras with a random American chap. You know? That's that's a tempting offer right there. <laughs> yes, I would like to proceed with that setting. Save data will now be created. Yes. Yes. Like I said, this is Gran Turismo 4 menus and sound effects and everything else. So, <laughs> there you go. Also, quite useful for me to be having a bike racing phase. Because I have just sold my uh, sim racing seat. The Delta is the one with the pistons in a triangle formation, right? It might be. All I know is it's massive, very powerful, very fast, very spectacular. Um, but yeah, I saw my sim racing seat today. You might have seen it kind of leaning up behind me in recent streams. My play seat evolution today found a nice new home in East London uh, for in exchange for £160, which is nice, and that's helped pay for a lot of Christmas shopping and everything. Uh, I decided I'm going to go back to having a system that I can fold away and store, which I'll sort out probably after Christmas. Uh, don't worry, I still have my wheel and pedals and everything. Um, I've still got my wheel and pedals. They're all there. They're just hibernating for the moment. Uh, I'll just sort out a new sim rig set up for them in the new year that's kind of a bit more practical. So uh, playing with motorbikes is helpful because I can drive them a lot easier on a controller. <laughs> I'll make the offer even more enticing. I'll provide the teas. Whoa, steady on. Boy, you are coming on strong for a first date here. I mean, yeah, no, that's very polite. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's very polite. Thank you. Appreciate that, though. Be a true noob sim racer. Wheel trucks for your office chair. <laughs> well, I might be using a fold-out stand for my wheel and pedal, so I would be using my chair for, for that. But uh, we'll see. Look, if Aero can still be running with a wheel bolted to his desk... I'm sure I can make it work. So, memory card stuff. Yes. Polyphony digital. Yes. 
Opening cutscene, yes. Intro movie, that's exactly like a Gran Turismo opening movie, yes. Like, at what point? <laughs> How obvious? At what point does it become really obvious that this is Gran Turismo 4 with bikes? The fact that this looks like the intro to Gran Turismo 3? Yeah, that's not a 4 GT. No, it isn't. Neither's that. That's a Laguna Se That's Laguna Seca. Like from all the Gran Turismo games. I love this though. I love the fact that they basically gave the entire Gran Turismo presentation style and game over to focus on motorbikes. That's really cool. Given that, especially like given how like you know motorbike games in comparison to car games, there's much less of them. There's way less of them in general. Um, you know, I know there's the ride games around nowadays. I think they're pretty good. I guess they're the current modern day tourist trophies, I guess, in the, for riding road and race bikes. There you go. You've, you've got the MotoGP games as well by Milestone that I've really enjoyed down the years. Um, Mid-2000s peak sports bike era. Yes, there you go. So what a perfect time to release a bike racing game in that style. Um, and here you go. Yeah, this is Grand Turismo 4. That was Tokyo Route 246. That's uh, Deep Forest. That's the, oh God, was it Hong Kong? Laguna Seca, which is an actual bike racing track anyway. So there's Suzuka. Uh, which one's that? I, was that Mategi? I want to say it was Mategi. Special stage route five. Uh, another one, the midfield raceway maybe. Yeah, this is basically, it's Gran Turismo 4. I can't say this. The Nord's Life, there you go. <laughs> there's a big give up. Was that a tornado? It might have been. Won't be here for too long. I have an out shift. Thank you for the, the um, you know, dropping by either way, Jason. We know you know your company's always appreciate it. Yeah? So at work, we have three people who all announce their retirement within five days of each other. That wouldn't be a problem if we weren't already basically a skeleton staff of three of retiring through the first person, first person, first person, first person, the organization, including my boss. That's quite a lot to deal with all at once. Was that not a trained but Yeah, no, I, I knew what you meant. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Interestingly as well, the one, I know there's one very notable new track in this game that is very bike racing centered. I didn't see that once in that opening film. <laughs> they literally just used all the Gran Turismo 4 tracks, which is fine. Again, had a great track roster. So we got arcade mode or Gran Turismo, I mean, Tourist Trophy mode. We're going to Tourist Trophy mode. I'm going to get my nasal spray. You think you just saw a Buell? Yes, there are bu There are Buells in this game, so good spot. Welcome to the world of Tourist Trophy. The first step is to learn the fundamentals of riding motorbikes so you can compete safely and effectively. Was that just your way of saying send it? Yes. Yes, thanks, Jason. I was going to reveal that at some point. Um, well, yeah, and well, now you've said it. Yes, the big new track in this game is Valencia i.e. the season finale track in MotoGP. Um, yeah, thanks, spoiler Poland. Um, anyway, we're not going to go there yet. Harley Davidson's long dead sports bike division. They were they were a Harley Davidson affiliate? That makes sense in a way. That does make sense. So, uh, right, where were we at? Right, so. This is the Gran Turismo Tourist Trophy mode uh, for this game. So it's not quite as extensive as Gran Turismo 4. You don't actually buy and sell motorbikes in this game. You win them and you acquire them and then you do all the races over here. So here's all the race events over here. Challenge mode is where you basically complete a showdown one-on-one. -on -one, where where you're, uh, you basically complete a one-on-one -on -one battle. You're given a bike to ride. And then if you can defeat an opponent on it or beat a lap time on it, you win the bike. So there you go, which is quite useful because at the moment in our garage, the only thing we've got is this. Um, in my experience, I, I'm i fairly certain you can't win a raffle on this thing. So uh, hopefully we will unlock something slightly better as we go through the game. But what we can do firstly in the garage area, in the garage area, 
is your bike settings riding form. We can adjust that, which is very nice. So, head roll angle. Scooter Brothers. <laughs> so, oh, we lean the head over. It's funny, ever since I did like a, a thread about this, when I played this game back, like, shit, we're talking like, uh, this is a motorcycle game, why are you riding a kitchen appliance? <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh God, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, like ever since I did a thread about this game in Tourist Trophy in the GT Planet forums, they have a tourist trophy thread over there, you know, because of course they do. Um, and I did like a race report thing in thread over there. And someone saw the pictures I posted and was like, Oi, get your rider leaning off his bike more. This ain't 1965 or something. So ever since then, I've been like, right, fuck you then. I'm, my guy's going to be full Mark Marquez. My guy under the working, under the working title of Martin Brosnan. <laughs> who's a sort of Vinnie Jones style, like gangster heavy for hire, who decides his way of going straight is gonna go motorbike racing. Kind of like that film Drive, where you've got your man who's a stunt driver and stock car driver during the day, but at night he's a getaway driver for local criminals. Kind of like that. Martin Brosnan is kind of like that. He's, he's got a bit of that about him. Uh, so we, we want him to have a bit of a Mark Marquez vibe. Torso roll angle over there. Your angle, there you go. <laughs> Body lean. Oh, yeah, really aggressive. There you go. Rider's arm angle. Seat position. Guy leaning on a scooter going 50 mile an hour like he's on a MotoGP bike going 150. Yeah, that's a slight problem. Lateral slide. Oh, yeah, really off. There you go. Vertical slide. Yep. Leg angle. Right down. There you go. Body lean. Upright. Mm, pretty aggressive, like it. Okay. Nice and aggressive, there you go. Options, save, status, change number. If you have a racing bike, you can change the number on it, which is very cool. Uh, bike details, there you go. Um, so there you go. Oh, we have a follow from Jamie, Dwy Jamie Doyer, 1993. Thank you for following. Is your leg flexible? It is now. If you are a real human, Jamie Dyer, uh, Dyer 1993, reveal yourself. Or just lurk and hang out, that's also fine. So, um, over here we have the license school, which is basically, I mean, it's the license test from Gran Turismo. I remember watching some old 80s toge bike racing guys had roller skate wheels on their knee pads. Of course, Japan, the home country of Mad Lad. So uh, we'll go to the licensed school. And uh, just as if, just in case you needed any further reminding that this is a Gran Turismo game in bike colored clothing, what are the first two license tests? Starting and stopped. Yeah. Yeah. E yeah. Yeah. Are you getting the hint now? So uh, anyway. Mm. Oh. It's really annoying. I've been the bottle for this after I poured the pint. And now I can't remember what it's actually called, which is a shame, because it's really nice. Grand Majesty, I know, right? Yamaha Grand Majesty 250, something or other. Okay, so fairly simple, which is good, because it also means I can give you a little bit of an overview of the controls, how they're slightly different. Because one thing that always threw me off about this game in a way, and I think threw off a lot of other people, is how it is, a, it is Gran Turismo 4, and yet motorbikes fundamentally handle and drive very differently to cars. I mean, it sounds like an obvious thing to say, but when you drop it into a Gran Turismo game with Gran Turismo physics, you're then surprised when the cars don't handle like they would in Gran Turismo, because you're not driving a car, you're riding a motorbike. So anyway, we should be stopping now. There we go. Straight into the bronzes, that's lovely. Now, when I press the square button for the brake there, there's a little indicator in the bottom left that you might have been able to see. Uh, it indicates what brakes are being used at once. If I push square, the front and back brakes at the same time are used. If I use R2, only the back brake is used. And that is a specific thing in bike riding, or in bike racing, I should say. Also, I'm holding down L2, which means my guy's leaning, like hunched over like that and leaning forward. And as you can see, he's getting a speed advantage over our previous run 
because, well, better aerodynamics. It's just kind of science, you know? Science, bitch. And then, have we stopped too early? We've... Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Bikes rely a lot on rear-end trail braking. Exactly. There you go. So that's why there's a separate control. Yeah, you see there, look. Bottom left, I'm pressing R2. That was just using the, um, the rear brake. So braking for, like, stopping in a straight line and going into corners, you use your front and rear brakes. Trail braking mid-corner, and my dad said, especially in wet weather, you'd use the rear brake a lot more. Just the rear brake. So, here we go. Let's try that again. And this time we're going to go... There we go. And you're thinking, why the hell would you not just be... Oh! We were, like, a few hundreds off of gold there. But you know us. We like our silver mediocrity squad. Because if you hit the front brake too hard in the corner, you're going to be face down on the pavement. Exactly. Exactly right. There you go. So... We figured out how to start and stop in a straight line. Jamie Dyer, 1993. Hello. Is that a Nate's Melon Mates Melon emote? Is that what I'm seeing here? Ooh. Excuse me. Righto. So, yeah, we've proven we can start and stop a bike in a straight line. How about we do it again, but with a faster bike? Right, okay. Just to really make sure we know what we're doing. Also, this one will have an actual transmission, so... Now we do the same, but on an angry wasp, exactly. Oh, I've just realised it's still on automatic gears. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Had to verify my number, heck. Yeah, I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently I'm being too cautious on the braking here. Maybe I'm just anticipating too much that motorbikes don't brake as fast as cars, because obviously they don't brake and handle the same way because they have, well, half as many tyres making grip with the ground. And the two tyres that they do have are notably thinner than a car tyre. So... Is the game lying to me again? Come on, come on, let's do it this time. Let's do it this time. Oh, I got a gold! I got a gold! Clearly bike racing was my, my calling all along. There's me being slogging away to get golds in Gran Turismo games driving cars. Second time out on a motorbike, and I've just smashed a gold. Just to pieces all across the floor. Um, it actually doesn't matter too much, because spoiler alert, you don't get prize bikes or cars um, in this game for licenses. I'm here, I'm queer, and I'm ready to cheer. Hey. Hello, Simon. Mm. Welcome in. Um, yeah, Jamie, uh, Jamie Dyer. Uh, I've just set that as like a security thing, especially after all the uh, hate raids and stuff. So, hello, darling. <laughs> How are you doing, darling? I have everything, but I need to get an old TV again. Hands unfortunate. I just have a new TV. Well, I have a monitor thing, a monitor TV thing that can handle my old Gato and a PS2 in it. Right, so, riding basics one, going round in circles. So, you know what we were just saying about using the rear brake? Here's where we're going to be doing it. Now, I think there's also a glitch. I don't know if it's present in this uh, test. Yes, we leaned over as well, so... So you see, I'm, I'm literally just hold, tapping the rear brake, the, the bike staying stable. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, that was close. Oh, but <laughs> we actually turned too well there. There you go. Welcome to the club of people mispronouncing D Dwyer. Is it Dwyer? Not Dyer, not Danny Dyer. We've not got Danny Dyer in the chat. You hydrated? Yes, good, yes. Everyone on mine might stay hydrated. Dwyer, okay, sorry, Jamie. Jamie Dwyer, 1993, there you go. We got you. Okay, so uh, let's try that again, because last time we were actually handling too well. We turned too well in our first attempt at this uh, test, something that I'm not normally used to. 
in any racing game ever. Don't turn so well, Eddie. I know, right? Oh, I'm pr and now. <laughs> And now I just pressed the wrong button completely, so I didn't even break. Uh, uh. Yeah, maybe I went too far the other way this time. Okay. There you go, brake check. <laughs> there you go. Brakes are working, can confirm. The back of this bike looks like someone smooches a Mitsubishi clear. Okay. <laughs> you know how I was bragging after getting a gold on N2. <laughs> also, I think there's a bug. Uh, it might be on the second version of this test only, or it might be on both, where the PAL version, the PAL times, target times, are way lower than they should be. Because I checked Rhino GT4's play of this game. And in the license test, he got gold on both of them. And I'm like, how is he doing that? Looked up at the gold time. Why is it two seconds slower than the gold time showing on my screen? Well, yeah, it's a glitch between the PAL and NTSC versions. So thanks for that. Come on, there you go. Come on. It's going to matter this time. Where is the finish? Where is the finish? Oh, we're still going to get silver, though. Lovely. There you go, that'll do. Looks, looks like I'm a lurk while Kai and I shoot people in Fortnite. Ah, oh, you cool kids with your bloody Fortnite and you stupid. I'm joking. <laughs> but I'll still be listening and typing as I can. Thank you. Could be issues with old power stuff running at 50 hertz. No, literally, the times were two seconds slower. I mean, like, they were set in the game as two seconds slower. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, Simon. You're good. You're far too, you're far too handsome for me to properly insult. Uh, anyway... <laughs> right. And you're far too cute when I attempt my hopeless attempts at flirting with you. So, uh, anyway. Maybe they changed it for some unforeseen issue. That might have to be... It might be it. Right, so, once again, we've got to do that test again. No, <laughs> we've got to do this test again, but on an actually fast bike. <laughs> okay. It's a bike that is so much faster, you can't just hold the rear brake. Oh my god, this is all I know, right? He's learning to be patient with him. You're going to bang people's knees on the roadside with those. I know, right? Yep, there's the gold time, there's the silver time, gone. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, we're just going to probably stick with the bronze for that one. <laughs> I don't know how to respond, have a keyboard resembles my inability to be verbal while being complimented. Yes. Because they're far too adorable for this world. Far too adorable for this world and must be protected. Hmm. Right. Aha! Another Gran Turismo staple, the slalom. Once again, we've got to do it. I assume we've got to do it twice, because we're on a slow bike again. Is there another one? Is it called Grim Majesty? It's funny, I quite like using the onboard cameras a lot of the time, but in this test, for understandable reasons. <laughs> All right, do me a favor. Forget everything I just said in the last 10 seconds. Bollocks to all of that. All of it. We're going to go on board instead. There you go. You've got a cockpit cam, sort of. It's a sort of handlebar cam. Camdlebar, I don't know. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. It's a gold. Liquid racing. Liquid riding. <laughs> I was a very very cam for a bike game in 2006. I knew, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank my family and my fans. <laughs> All three of them. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I'm assuming we're doing that again on a faster bike. No, we're not. We're now doing some actual Gran Turismo tests, which are like how to go around a corner. Lies. <laughs> Here we go. So here's our bike. And we're braking, going into the corner. And now we're going to use the rear brake to straighten the bike up. There you go. Get it turned in. Nice. You have at least seven. <laughs> Thank you. And that'll be another silver right away. That'll be lovely. Nice and tasty. You don't actually need licenses to enter certain races. You need licenses to acquire the bikes that are eligible or competitive in those races. So... Uh, uh. Actually, I'm 100 fans of the trench <laughs> Simon, you sneaky devil. Mm. Right, now we've got some corners at Laguna Seca. Use the rear brake. There you go. Oh, yeah. I keep. Oh, God. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, it's weird because... Uh, where am I going? Uh, okay, that's fine. It counted. <clears throat> Yeah, in the main game, it does the lean over, lean forward thing automatically. But in the license tests, it, you have to do it manually. And you can tell that they haven't really timed, or like it's a secret thing to be like, you can not do it and get a bronze or a silver, but if you want a gold, you have to do it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Much straight through that. That's where we'll get the improvement. Head down. Very nice. Now, if you're wondering why you can't just lean your head down like that the whole time, it does affect your balance in the corners. So that would be why. Whoa, God. As you can see there, as I went to lean down before even coming off the corner. Cool exhaust on this bike. Yeah, it is. The kind of triple threat. The triple threat exhaust out the back. There we go. We banged the silver there. Maybe not so cool in your ass. No, you wouldn't want that. Three rectums. <laughs> the th the tri-rectum. Instead of the trifecta, the tri-rectum. I got it. Ejecto Cedo cars. All right. Press the button. Ejecto Cedo, Jason. Whee! See you later, Jason. Let's see you facing corners with decreasing... Decreasing raddy, decreasing radii on a mountainous course. Yeah, it's El Capitan from, from Grand Turismo 4. I meant more if they get too hot. Oh, yeah, that as well. You know, that as well. Oh, there you go. Lean down. Oh, clip the inside on that corner. It's an old looking bike. Yeah, it has bikes going back to like the early 80s. I think it's very cool. Mm. Right out. So. High-speed cornering, right, okay. We're on GSX-R600 Suzuki. Baller motorbike, this is. And we're doing the first sector at high-speed ring, basically. The scream. This is noise. It is the V-Mobile. And yeah, you know what I said about leaning down in the corner? Oh, my God.
All right, lean down a bit more and then break. Come on, bang out of the corner. There you go. Head down. Yeah, there you go. We'll get it. We'll get it done. Lovely, lovely. There we go. Yeah, very sexy bike they are. The GSXR Suzuki's. Mmm. And this is a very, well, I wouldn't say a sexy beer, but it is very tasty. Right, novice class graduation test. A full lap of autumn ring mini on a something. A Yamaha T-Max thing. With no gears. Okay, good to know. There you go. <laughs> Leaning over, hunkered down. Martin Brosnan, he, he's working hard out here to get his test to go professional bike racing. So he doesn't have to keep doing getaway jobs for, uh, for the East London mob. The Limehouse Massive. Long, long corner. Sweeping consecutive corners. And then we go through here. And then lean down. Lean. Oh, we weren't far off a of gold first time there. That'll do for a silver. That'll take us through the novice license pretty easily. Except for that one hacks. <laughs> that one hacks test, which was like physically impossible. How to go faster, be American. Oh, well, that's a bit racist, isn't it? You went from a screaming sport bike to a leaf blower. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Du, 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 epic music. Qualified rider, Atomaga. Yeah, there you go. Two golds, a bronze, and then all silvers. So we're good. Aha! Novice clock. No riding gear has been acquired. Yes, there you go. Before the Grand Pro Games actually embraced having helmets and stuff for your driver, you could have leathers and helmets and stuff for your rider. There you go. So, that's the novice class tackled. Um, for the moment... We'll bounce back and forth with the license tests. The RX-7 was a helmet name. Really, no, I didn't want to actually do the licenses again. Yeah, we'll see if we can go and do some racing now. Uh, uh, excuse me. And um, just to show you where we're up against, I will enter our starter bike in the opening championship of the game. I'm not expecting us to be that competitive. I'm not expecting us to be competitive at all, actually. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I put the roster for that weekend up in the Discord. Oh, the Great Central Railway weekend. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, transmission manual. Normal map display on. Failure conditions off. That can be set to on, which basically auto DNFs you if you fall off the bike. We won't quite do that. Not yet, anyway. Not right away. You don't want that immediately. MPH, brake horsepower, foot pounds, <laughs> all that torques. We want all the torques in the bike. Mm. Right. So, um, here we go. We're going to try and win something on this. Like I said, I, I'm fairly certain it couldn't win the village raffle. But we're gonna try and take it racing. Because god damn it we're 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 a trier. Mama didn't <laughs> Mom didn't raise no quitter. Aim for the ultimate in bike racing. Who's ready for Abu Dhabi? Because I am. Uh I'm not. <laughs> I mean I'm in the sort of feeling of uh, I just kinda want this to be over now. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be an unmitigated shit show, but we'll see how we go. It does have a cool name. The bike, yeah. Suzuki Skywave. Street Machine Cup, stage one. Under 250cc. So, our bike is probably under 250cc. Yes, it kind of is. So, three races. Grand Valley East, Twin Ring Mategi Super Speedway. Yes, the Oval. 
and Twin Ring Mategi short course. And Christmas in two weeks. Yes. That's why I've been getting on my Christmas shopping today. And I'm very excited about that. Getting into the Christmas spirit now. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. Really cool. Favourite time of year. <laughs> I turn into even more an oval on 250cc bikes. I know, right? Here's another thing for you. You thought six car grids in Grand Turismo 4 was a bit small. Uh, uh, how, how about this? <laughs> Two bike grids. They do go up to more later on. Uh, to a maximum of four. Yeah, I don't know either. That was a big letdown in this game. I'm like, come on. If you only had six cars in Gran Turismo, could you have at least not had that amount of bikes? Uh, also, I do enjoy the fact that you've got uh, suspension, tyre, exhaust, brakes, boo -boo, and brake balance. Boo -boo. That's not a very nice first rival. Yeah, you, you know what I was saying. So, compound... Production. Uh, production is slightly better tyre. Exhaust. Every street bike comes with a custom exhaust. That's an 8250 IRL. That thing would kill your bike. What's that? That would be unsafe. So, uh, right. We've upgraded the tyres and the exhaust. We're still producing 23 horsepower. I, I don't feel like this is going to be a fair fight. This is me kind of proving the point about how <laughs> the starter bike you're given is kind of useless. So we're up against a 95 Yamaha TZR250 SPR. Now, bear in mind, this is Gran Turismo AI still, so they are about on the same pace as Max Verstappen's girlfriend's granddad's postman. So, you know... We'll see. We'll give it a red hot crack. Let's go. Three laps on our Suzuki Skywave. Yeah, look at this. You know what I was saying before? About how in races it's automatic where your guy hunches down. Look, he's hunched down. Because fuck safety, the 80s bikes would weigh negative pounds if they remove all. I know, right? Let's see where we are at the first checkpoint. I don't think he's I don't think he's actually got away that much, if any. Right, so 5.4 seconds. Across the grass there, that's the that's the line. The line TM. He doesn't look that far ahead as well either. Oh, I can't adjust the volume here. I will turn the music down after this race, probably. 5.6 seconds, so we've only lost two tenths in that sector. It may be a faster bike on paper, but as you said, it's got B-Spec Bob riding it. It's got B-Spec Bob's Nan riding it. Oh my God, that, why am I doing that? That's not even the brake, AJ. What are you doing? Come on! Single gear spectacular. It's topping out at... It's topping out at 82 miles an hour. Yeah, and the gap's now 6.9 seconds. That is not nice. That's really not nice. Misses the brake entirely. Not even going fast enough to miss the turn. <laughs> I think I think that kind of tells you all you need to know about the thing we're riding here. Yeah. We're now 7.9 seconds down. I uh I don't force I don't want to be Mr. Pessimistic over here. I don't really foresee uh, ignore that. I don't really foresee a glorious comeback here for our Skywave riding the crest of a sky wave into the mediocrity sea and then sinking to the bottom of the <laughs> of the misery trench. The mediocrity trench. Oh, it is back to 5.9 seconds. Though. We gained two seconds in that sector. I don't know how. 
meantime, we've got a funk beat here. Uh, uh. Right, what's the gap going to be at the end of this lap? It's going to be 6.6 .6 seconds. We've overall gained, we've overall net gained on that lap by three tenths. <laughs> it ain't really much, but uh, you know, we take whatever we can get in these streets, on these bikes, <laughs> in these streets. Hey, it's turn up the Mac, is it? Hello, Hitch. <laughs> Gap's back to 6.9 seconds now. Once again, that's not nice. That's very much not nice. No, that's the line. I, I will, that's, that's the line, and I'm sticking to it. You can't stop me. There you go. We are staying in range. And that is a... a, a 5.3 seconds. We're actually faster in the middle sector than this peanut. Amazing. On Yadar, on Yadar's mobility scooter. So hang on, the gap at the first checkpoint at the start of the race was 5.4 seconds. If we're anywhere near that, I will take that as a win. If we've actually net gained on him over the course of the race, I will take that as an absolute win. Immobile scooters, 6.2 seconds. I've seen faster British talent cup riders. <laughs> oh, you mean like the 12 year olds division? Yeah, so, uh, yeah. It is time to sky wave goodbye to our Suzuki, because that's the last time we're going to ride it, because it is rubbish. It's about as useful at winning motorbike races as a crisp sandwich. <laughs> it's on the same level of usefulness at winning bike races as Rory Burns is at batting in an Ashes test, i.e. not, <laughs> i.e. useless. Mm. Okay, so what to do instead then? Well, this is where the challenge mode comes in. Whereas we normally go and buy a new uh, car, we can now go and do a showdown and win a bike. And win a better one. So let's go over here. I like to do things in kind of a linear order because they're quite short, these challenge races, if you get them right. Um, there's 93 in total. That's not all the bikes in the game. There are others you can un only unlock through winning as prize. Hey, crisp sandwiches are nice. I know. Crisp sandwiches are good. They're just not very good at being motorbikes, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's all the manufacturers in the game. Quite a good selection. You've got Honda, obviously, Yamaha. Uh, Kawasaki, Suzuki, BMW, Triumph, Aprilia, Ducati, MV Augusta, and Mike spotted earlier, Buell. It's like entering the Daytona 500 in a Ford Transit, yeah. So you'll see there, you need certain licenses to ride certain bikes, so that's where the licenses comes from. Now you can also dictate by displacement, which is very useful for where we're at. Um, we basically want anything under 250 for the moment. So, yeah, this covers everything up to 250. So you'll see even in this section, there's uh, bikes that require the junior lives. They're normally the racing bikes at the very least. So we've got we've got a decent little selection here. So basically, I think all of these licenseless ones. Well, yeah, I mean, the Suzuki Skywave 250 is there. That's what we literally just rode. So I think a Honda NS250R will be much better. That was who we... No, that wasn't. That's who we raced against. That bike was called Ford. I'm in a bush. I'm in a bush. Don't say that too loudly, Simon. The police will arrest you. Just as long as you're not near any schools. Um, anyway, uh, so... So here we go. Horsepower comparisons. <laughs> um, yeah, 21, 23, 44. 44, 34, 39, 39, 43. So, yeah, quite the difference. And that may still sound like really not much horsepower at all. But trust me, 
40 horsepower is enough on a motorbike that, you know, compared to a car, weighs about as much as an atom. Uh, so not an aerial atom either. So we're going to go through this in order. We'll just win a certain amount of these. We'll do about 10 or so. And we'll just go through and unlock them just to be part of the game, you know? Beat port, as it were. So it's the Honda Fuck the Revival 05. First up at Autumn Ring Mini. Up against the Yamaha 225E. So there you go. Here we go. This bike at least feels fast, though. It's like a scrambler bike, I think. Wow, he's really leaning over on the bike as well. Whoa. So basically, the aim of a lot of these challenges is to overtake your opponent within a set amount of laps. Um, and then stay in front of them for 10 seconds. So it's kind of the Nevesby Carbon Canyon Jewel rule, if you will. And there's our little pit board thingy, which I quite like. Because obviously on motorbikes, so you don't really have room in your helmet for a radio, so, well, a two way radio anyway. It's the Lotus Formula in bike form. There you go. Is Danny Rick part of L Plan now? I don't know, is he? I don't, I don't even know what the L Plan is, so, let alone who's involved in it. So there you go, that was easy. That was easier than bowling Rory Burns out with the first ball of an Ashes test. I'm sorry, I took risk. <laughs> so I, I promise I'm going to stop savaging Rory Burns now. Well, at least when he starts actually batting in this series. What do you mean, AJ? He's been out to bat twice in the innings. Yeah, no, but he hasn't actually batted yet, has he? he he's just stood there. He's just stood there, and then a wicket's flown up into space, and he's just like, uh, how's that happened? Oh, was I supposed to not make that happen? Oh, I remember now. I was supposed to swing this bit of wood at it. There you go. Right, so here's the bike we just defeated. Nice fetching shade of blue as well. So we'll have an Autumn Ring Mini Showdown again. And uh, <laughs> this time the roles are reversed. We're up against the Honda Fuck the Revival. Part of me kind of wants to attempt those races we were just doing on one of these bikes. It has even less horsepower than the Skywave, but it, it feels like it has something about it at least. Hot take, we're not winning the Ashes. Yeah, you know, I think, I think we all sort of hope for the best, prepared for the worst coming into this series. And then as soon as the very first ball of the series happened and Rory Burns' wicket went into a new century with the very first ball of the very first match, we kind of all went, Oh, yeah, yeah, no, okay, it is, it's, it's going to be worse than we thought. It has proper gears as well, so you can get more of 15 horsepower. There you go. So we will actually have a go in this thing, I think. What the, oh my god. We just got bounced into by the Yamaha, the, the Honda Fuck Revival. And now we've been not wide, and also, by the way, um, license test rules are in effect, so if you fall off, it's race over or run wide, or, you know, anything like that. But now we've made the pass, and this time, we're going to stay in front. Can England win anything this year? No. No, no. We just need to get out of this year immediately. <laughs> At least this time, we're not going to be beaten by a flipping Italian. Hopefully. <laughs> Australia star batsman actually has Italian heritage. Oh, for fuck, that's it, isn't it? That's just it, isn't it? Does the custom exhaust add power? Yes. Not much, but it does. We can also measure this, uh, what will be quite interesting, what I like to do, is measure the competitiveness of a potential bike by its power to weight ratio, which you can do in the garage. So we can do that. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll take us up to those. So we'll get beat by a Dutchman though. In the cricket or uh, in the cricket or the Formula One? It's Kawasaki D-Tracker. We'll do a showdown for that. 
Now, because it's a Kawasaki, it has to be in lime green. It's, you know, it's just the rules, really. And we're facing off. <laughs> we're doing a Spider-Man meme on the start line because we're facing off against one of ourselves. Just a single dirt bike. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the acceleration really is rapid on these things. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, we got lucky there. There is a certain, like, if you just briefly run off onto the grass, uh, you can get away without being auto DQ'd or auto DNF'd, I should say. <laughs> we just punted our opponent out of the way. What? Oh. oh, that was close. We were playing with fire in that one. Well, grass more than anything. No, wait, Simon's playing with grass. Um, <laughs> that said, Dutchman will get beaten by an Irish jockey in the next week's International Spoti Awards. Two kinds. <laughs> who's, who's the Irish jockey that he will be, uh, they'll be defeated in that? Yeah, of course he's up for that. Also, good God, the BBC Sport website has been even more insufferable than normal today, uh, this week. On the on the uh, on the subject of the entitled orange spunk trumpet, no wait, that's Donald Trump. The entitled little Dutch spunk trumpet. Okay, so yeah, we've won that. We already have that, so we don't need to win it again, which is good. <laughs> which is good. We we don't need that. Nobody needs that in their lives. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll win a Skywave 250 SS. You know, because we all know that if you add SS onto something, two things happen. One, its performance increases, or two, it becomes Nazi. So, hopefully, I'm not saying there's no choice here, and if the, the Skywave SS has got the same amount of horsepower as the regular one. So, you know, if it hasn't improved its power, what I'm saying is this is a Nazi bike, <laughs> is, is what I'm saying. God, this is so slow. I mean, this is painful, really. This is painful, really. Would it, did, okay, we stayed on, just. Zeke, Zeke Zuki, God. Suzu Sieg. Oh my God, where are we going? And unsurprisingly, it still handles like a boss. Appropriately enough, given what we've described it so far, it basically handles like a Kubel wagon with two missing wheels. Rachel Blackmore, she was the first female rider to win the Grand National Gold Cup this year. Yes! On yourself! I don't know anything else about her, and all I'm saying is I want her to win rather than Max. I want anyone to win anything over a Max, even if it's an egg and spoon race. It sounds like a bounce bomb and corners a bounce. <laughs> You're really not wrong there. Oh, I see. That's the notification that popped up on my uh, phone. Simon sending me a Discord message uh, showing me what kind of bush they were hiding in. And uh, no, that's not my. That's not a roundabout way of saying they sent me a dick pic. God damn it. Anyway, five. There you go, George. <laughs> Well, you know. Anyway, so. If I vote Max, how banned will I be? Yes. Um, well, you can vote for him if you want. Just don't mention that fact here. Um, right, so. Ride history, power to weight ratio. So the Kawasaki actually has a really good power to weight ratio. The 250 Type S actually is better than the SS. <laughs> And that's why that's my review of that really. Um, so the Honda Funk the Revival felt pretty peppy. So the SS is worse. <laughs> really is Nazi. I almost want to delete it from our garage. Is there an option to do that? No. 
Go and sit in the corner in shame and think about what you are. Think about the letdown that you are. Right, firstly, let's try the Honda Funk the Revival. Force 10 reactions. Feel, feel tits, really. <laughs> Fucking twats. <laughs> Fucking twats real. Um, anyway, yeah. So it actually has less horsepower than what we were riding first up. It has 19 horsepower, a whole four less, but it has a way better power to weight ratio. It actually has a manual transmission. Feel the rhythm. Oh yeah, that was right. I was gonna turn down the music, wasn't I? Feel the rhyme. Uh, where are we at? Uh, where's the options? They're in here, aren't they? Oh, I see, feel the rhythm. There you go, yeah, yeah. Took me a moment. That was far too wholesome. I'm like, that can't actually be his act. Something, something, it's biking time. Uh, yeah. Sound, there we go. Well, AJ, I do have those. What's that? Wholesome, oh, wholesome moments. Yes. <laughs> so, race BGM, we'll turn that off. Replay BGM, we'll turn those off. Menu BGM can stay on, because I like that. So, there we go. Oh, no, that's replay sound effect. There you go. So, yes. There we go. We'll do that. Hmm. So. <clears throat> what we're now going to do is go back and see if we can gain revenge. So Max isn't up for the main Spoti Award. No. Well, because Spoti is for English athletes only, isn't it? Or British athletes, at least. Beast of British. But there is an international Spoti Award um, category. So, second time lucky at Grand Valley on a bike that actually wants to be ridden in a fast manner rather than one that just wants to kind of go over into the corner and eat some grass. <laughs> it actually just wanted to be a car. It just wanted to be a cow. And this time we're up against another Honda. It's an NS250R84. And what we're going to do, just to help things out, because I think we'll still need it, is not adjust the brake balance, BB. <laughs> uh, and then we'll put production tyres on, which are slightly better, and then a sports exhaust, which has actually given us a horsepower. A single horse has been added into our engine. Hey, manor. Right, so. All right, let's see how we go this time. I feel like, given last time we were riding basically a pencil sharpener and we weren't that far off in terms of pace, I think we might have something with the Honda FTR. With the Honda Feel the Rhythm. Imagine a motorbike being pulled by a horse. Ah, right, well, there's a slight. Well, there is a slight issue. Uh, it actually tops out at 75 miles an hour, as in slower than the Skywave. Right, okay. But can it make up for it in the turns and in everywhere else? <laughs> Can't adjust gears? Yeah, you can. 4.5, we have gained though. We have gained. We're basically maxing out. Are we going to be in fifth gear for the entire lap? Oh no, we're actually going to go down to fourth for this one. And then third. I love the amount of lean you get on this thing, though. Oh god, we are closing. We are closing in. Guys, it is on. 3.2 seconds. Oh, we're closing so much. We're closing so much. This is where we're going to lose some time. But I don't remember us actually losing a lot of time down the straights. <laughs> um, um. Right, so the gap's now back up to 5.8 seconds. 
This might be the slight issue that we're going to have with this bike. <laughs> it's like an idle lawnmower. 6.69, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, this ain't gonna work, is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a crash. Right, so this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna give that another go. Hello, AJ, feeling better today? I am. Because I can relate, I've had my own stomach problems recently, so I get it, man. Oh, that's a shame. I hope you, uh, hope you feel better soon as well, man. Fly mode edition, yeah, <laughs> very accurate. Settings. So this time, where, where's the, there we go. Final 72.4 miles an hour. Now that's shortening it. Lengthening it gives this to, <laughs> okay, right. Um, it might not be as bad. I feel like this problem kind of wasn't exposed at the autumn ring. <laughs> right, okay. So, we might be able to do about 10 miles an hour more top end this time. Which could be all the difference. You know? Here we go. 7, 8, 9, 10. 84. <laughs> So instead of topping out at 75, we're now topping out at 84. Nine miles an hour faster. So, will that make all the difference? I feel, I feel like it might, 3.4 seconds. Okay, good first sector again. <laughs> That's just the line, don't question it. Oh, we are closing so much. Oh my God, Lance, this is on. This is on, on our Honda FTR. 1.8 seconds. OMG, shit the bed, Lance, this is on. Oh, go on. Oh, what a run through the corner. Through the final corner, peeing for track limits. Get out of here. No long lap penalties around here. Right, so here's the, here's the Achilles heel of our bike. It's a slight issue, I will admit, but we've now negated it slightly. 4.2 seconds at the end of the first lap. There you go. Right, this first sector will still be a bit bigger, 4.4, okay. We still have the Kawasaki D-Tracker to break out as well if we, uh, if we want to. We're so close. We are getting so close. Two seconds. He's looking over his shoulder. We've got him on the ropes. He's, he's looking. He is looking. The slight, there is a slight issue. This might come down to a final lap send and try to block him on the straight. You might be right. Right, what's the gap at the line this time? 4.1. We gained a tenth over that lap. Final lap presented by a bank. I don't know which one. 
I don't really know which one, but it is presented by a bank. Well, there's our the one. The one is that a rev counter or a speed? I assume that's a rev counter. It's kind of hard to block on bikes. Hard, but not impossible. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. <laughs> 1 1.8 seconds again. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. It's time for the end of the century, I think. Good. Good. Oh shit. No. I stayed on the bike. I stayed on the bike. Uh, okay, never mind. And we flop. <laughs> and we flop. Ah, oh, well, rip. <laughs> right, it was a worthy effort. It was a worthy effort, I've got to say. I was watching your one IndyCar World Series race on Arfact yesterday and I enjoyed it a lot. So if it's all possible, could the IndyCar World Series make a comeback? Uh, probably not the IndyCar, uh, not on Arfactor. Because I kind of gave up with that because I was fed up with how unintuitive and rubbish it all is. Although, I have tried simming races in the set of Corsa as well, and that has its own problems. So, I might end up... I don't know. I think, ultimately, you can still edit much more stuff, and it's much more intuitive in a set of Corsa. So, I do want to do some simming races in a set of Corsa, including... Here's something I thought about, because I like streaming on and around Christmas Eve. I had a random idea the other day for the Christmas Eve 500, which would be an endurance race on a set of Corsa, uh, offline, so to be AI, but the drivers would all be members of our Discord server. Discord server, subscribers, people like that, mods, just registered as drivers in the race, um, all on auto, you know, all at the same level AI. Um, car choice, completely random. Complete RNG, which might mean I can also fuck around with ballasting and things like that, or try and do a Victor Mildred Trophy thing where I start certain cars 50 laps down or something. Christmas to a sock. You know what? <laughs> I love it, Maggle. I love it, Maggle. Yeah, so I was thinking, like, all the cars in the base are set, of course, so probably, because we know that the AI works and everything with them, so... Um, I don't know. So there's like everything from like Fiat 500 R baths and Mazda MX-5s and a Sarth mod with snow. Well, with Sol, you can have weather conditions on. I was running a V8 supercar session the other day in the rain. I don't know how much cosmetically, like if it's just a cosmetic mod, but you can have snow. You can have snow. So there is a thing. Um, you know, I, it's, it's possible. It's possible is what I'm saying. So it means I'm going to go back to challenge mode given that we found the limitations there of the uh, Honda FTR. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any... Sub so, we've got 21, 21. I think it's time to ride a Kawasaki. You, I don't know, man. Like, is it worth giving the... Your dad would approve... Yeah, you know, having said that, you know... Um, Uh, there we go. So we've got Honda, Yamaha. These are literally the bikes we're up against. So I think if an underdog, if an underdog win is going to come from any of these bikes, it's going to be the D tracker. What D it's tracking, I'll leave up to you. Or instead of that, uh, D tracker. You can make it easy and go for one of the eighties two strokes. I could. But where's the fun in that? I've been simming my own IndyCar series on NR2003 with the IndyCar mod that dropped a year ago. There's a new IndyCar mod for that game? Oh boy, I need to check this out. For the longest time, there was only like that one that dropped in like 2012 or something, or like 2013 or something. It wasn't, it wasn't great. <laughs> Meantime, Simon is discussing bush habits again. Um... I recommend upping the gearing. Yeah, yes. Well, yeah. Mm. 
I'm an appreciator of the bush. Doesn't matter that you said, please don't take this out of context, Simon. <laughs> you know, the fact you said that, knows ex you know exactly what's about to happen. Appreciator of bush. Simon here. <laughs> Simon here. So, <laughs> appreciator of bush. Simon Hatter here. Hello, bush appreciator here. Tonight, Simon appreciates a bush. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> George W. Snoop Dogg. All liveries for both road course and speedway. Era. Oh, I need to get on this. I need to get on this. So. Top speed, 101 miles an hour, though. Not then I hear Simon Hatter in full. Aw. Well, Simon Hatter is a lovely, handsome human being. So they should hear their name more. The Mad Hatter. The Handsome Hatter. Anyway, right, it's time to track some D. While Simon appreciates some bush, I, it's time for us to track some D. Maybe you weren't topping up, maybe you just weren't shifting up, yeah. Oh, it, it does have six gears, this thing, so. I think we got something in this. I think this might be it. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling it already. Oh my God, look at this. Gonna go stalk my front door for the delivery. Should be back soon. -ish. Tonight, Simon appreciates a bush. I track the D, and a man gets embarrassed on a motorbike. Oh my God! Look at this. Oh, look at this. Tracking the dealer. <laughs> yes. What well, sounds like a good night? What tracking D and appreciating bush? You know. Uh, yeah, by the way, 1.1 seconds. I think this is on. And we're not going to get monstered for speed too much down the front straight either. Because we're going to have a motorbike that can actually do 100 miles an hour. What a novel concept that is. <laughs> Alright, so it is faster down the front. And D is about to get tracked. 1.3 seconds at the end of the first lap. We're still not topping out. We're 120 miles an hour. Oh my God, you are, you are so, you are going down. This chungus on the lead bike is going down. You can tell it's a Friday night. Drugs, bikes, and bushes. He's not the long awaited sequel to Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. Drugs, bikes, and two smoking bushes. Drugs, bikes, and two smoking hatters. Oh my god. Oh, this is... This is set to be an absolute bodying. Sound like an 80s biker bar name. Oh no! Oh! Sir! Sir! Oh dear. Well, he's trying to bully us. He's trying to bully us out of the way. We're on a pavement. Oh my god. Sir. Oh, the cutback, the switchback. We don't quite have the power out of the corner, but we will have the slipstream. Slipstream, please give me slipstream. Yeah, yeah. We didn't quite get the slipstream. Final lap presented by Ubank. We did get the slipstream, in fact. We did get a little bit, and it was just enough. Come on, come on, hustle. This is it, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna win a race on a dirt bike. I feel like a chav down Dartford Park in the local fields, hooning around on a dirt bike. Oh, here we go, oh yes. Oh, the pass, the pass TM. Oh, steady. Oh, he's trying to come back at us. He's trying. Oh my God, the run to the line is going to be tense. Nine tenths of a second. Oh, that upset the bike a bit. The past TM. Oh 
oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Come on, go. Go. Power. I know you don't have any. Use it. Use the power. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's going to be a drag race to the line. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, welcome to the stable. We tracked the D. We, we found the D and we killed the D. There's also a GT Bro and Am mod for an Wow. Oh my God. I suggest a site called Mmm, because that's where I found them. Uh, can you type that out longhand? Is there a way you can type that out longhand? Because I really need to check out the site, I think. Oh. Mm. We've beaten the D. We really have. The D has hunted, tracked, <laughs> has tracked down the D, has hunted the D. The D tracker has a very specific set of skills. Skills that make him a nightmare for people like him. The D has beaten him. <laughs> And we've won a Yamaha on Z 250. So there you go. Rather nice. Rather tasty. There you go. Stunard Racing. Oh, I've heard the name. Okay. I will investigate this. Right. The Super Speedway, I'm not feeling as confident on. I will be honest. But the AI don't like corners. Just like they don't like corners in any Grand Schmo game. So, you know, there's, there's, there's every chance. This could be all taken out of context, exactly. Exactly, and that's why we're saying it. Do you look at how much our Martin Brosnan is leaning off the bike? You lean. Oh my god, we have gained in the first two turns there. Astonishing, amazing. 1.9 seconds, the gap. Yeah, the AI hate turn three and four at Mategi on the oval. To be honest, so do I, but at least I can do it. This has got to be one of the weirdest track vehicle mashups I've ever seen in some time. I know, right? 1.3 seconds. It's happening, Dokif. Oh my god, okay, it's happening from the office, Dokif. Oh my god, we're closing. We're closing down so much. Oh, this is amazing. You're literally being beaten by a yob on a dirt bike. How do you... Well, you're not being beaten yet. But you're about to get bodied by a yob on a dirt bike. I mean, how do you feel about that? Tell us how you feel about that. In fact, tell your therapist how you feel about that. Dirt bike yob isn't real. They can't hurt you. Dirt bike yob. <laughs> <laughs> Nought point six nine two seconds. Point nine naught point nice. Oh, we're actually running wide there. We didn't need that. We're still gonna get a decent run out of the corner. We've got some slipstream as well. Point eight of a second. Oh my god, the switchback. The switchback, we're getting the run up off the corner. This is going to be so close. All right, we've got an extra lap on this one. 0.68. Final lap presented by a bank. I don't know what bank is presenting it, but a bank is presenting this lap. Let's see the numbers and they spell just. <laughs> The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for the Suzuki RG250 at sacrifice. At Mategi sacrifice. Oh, come on, we are so close. 0.62. All right, just send it in. Send it in. Send it in. No, no, no. Oh, we're so close. 
we were so close in a race where we really didn't have any right to be that close. 0.727 at the flag. What a battle. A Yorb on a dirt bike. We nearly defeated a high performance 250cc bike, uh, motorbike, a road bike, on an oval. I tell you what, there is a third race in the series. We will give the uh, D Tracker a send off. Funny strat I remember from playing this. Go on. Nay wants me to show off what he calls the cheese strat. So we will do that at some point, hopefully. Which is where if you time how you crash in a corner correctly, you can actually benefit from crashing because it respawns you like further up the road. Speaking of Matagi, they even have a flipping Robbie Gordon Super Truck mod. The mods for this game are insane. I love the fact there is such an amazing uh, modding community around a game that is coming up on 20 years old. You can wall ride turn three and four. <laughs> amazing. Oh, look, it's the same lad from the Oval. So we've literally got off the bikes, demanded a rematch over on the road course. We've just raced on the Oval. We've demanded an instant rematch over on the road course. So now we're getting it. Hello, friend. Hello, Melly. How are you doing? Are you doing slightly better than the last time we talked? Which was pretty crappy, I'll be honest. Oh. Meantime, we are riding motorbikes in a high-performance fashion. And uh, this lad on the Suzuki really is about to get bodied. We're, we're basically a yob on a dirt bike. And uh, we're about to beat a, a man on an actual performance motorbike. Well, hopefully, I said that. Oh, no. 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 How have I... I've I was defying gravity for quite a while there. You've had your course of antibiotics at the coffee still wheezy. Oh, that's just... Are you... Uh, has there been any other improvement elsewhere? Don't like Yob is going to be a new character in AJ Law. Well, apparently it's Martin Brosnan's um, backstory here. Clearly that's what he did. He used to run drugs. <laughs> he used to be a drug runner on his dirt bike. Not too much improvement. No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mel. <laughs> Generally hope you're feeling... you things pick up for you very soon. All right, well, that's a lap on the Matangi East course. Plot twist, you're actually delivering boost, Simon. <laughs> yeah, he's actually running... I'm actually a drug runner for Simon's dealer. Simon's weed dealer has hired us. Oh my God, speaking of which though, that's, I mean, we're about to, oh no. You've just been bodied by a drug runner on a dirt bike. Magee. Now don't try, and, no, 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 don't try and blast past him straight line. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Our NASCAR game from 2003 is still getting more support from fans than the newest NASCAR 21 game because NR 2003 is an amazing game. NASCAR 21 Ignition is a steaming turd on a disc. Which has about as much to do with the real NASCAR as Donald Trump has with a competent human being. It is a masterpiece, absolutely. Oh, we've seen it again. Gee, just, would you just give up now? Just for, for, for your own family. Think of your family, think of your fans. You don't have any. I mean, you might have some family, but you don't have any fans. You're being slapped up by viral sensation, dirt bike yob. Going viral, it's gonna be going viral on the motorbike. Oh no, no, we stayed on. Right, I'm off, have fun, will do. Thank you for the follow, Jamie Dwyer. And I hope you've enjoyed your stay in here. We'll hope to see you again around here. Have a good rest of your evening. Meantime, final lap presented by... <laughs> tried to just ran through. 
He's trying to ram us off the tailpipe. It's a dirt bike. A little trip off the track's fine. Yeah, exactly. This is like the Subaru Impreza of this game, basically. I'm tempted to get some screenshots of my rider from this. Go back to the GT Planet forums. Tag the guy that originally said about get your guy leaning off the bike more and be like, is this good enough for you? Uh, he's actually so far off the bike, he's fallen off. Yeah, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? Oh, God. oh no, no. Steady, steady, there you go. Twenty-one ignition is like eFootball 2022. <laughs> Far too accurate, to be honest. Far too accurate. Oh my geez, 2.9 seconds back. Deary me. Oh wow, this is Grand Tremont Motorbike. Yes. Hello, Paula. Welcome in. Welcome in to Grand Tremont Four Motorbike DLC Pack, otherwise known as Tourist Trophy. And given that Grand Tourism 4 is my favourite racing game of all time, I'm still having a lot of fun with Tourist Trophy. And, uh, well, we've just slapped up a fool on our dirt bike. The Adventures of Martin Brosnan. <laughs> drug runner. <laughs> drug runner for the East End mob. Trying to transition into going straight as a professional motorcycle racer. Well, it's going well so far. He's slapping up fools on his dirt bike that he uses to run drugs. Bush arrived. Well, yeah, we delivered it to you on our dirt bike. That's the story we came up with. Martin Brosnan was actually a drug runner. He used his bike to, like, his dirt bike to, like, sneak across fields and that. So, uh, yeah, we delivered the Bush, and uh, we won two out of three races, and we won a Suzuki Dune 400 thingy, which is a beefier dirt bike. We've won a beefier dirt bike. Hell yeah. Bush bike 2.0. But uh, yeah, there is still that one glaring loss on our roster there. On our roster, our resume. Do, do you want to? Oh my God. Also mod was like sexual terms, stomach shrivel. Not to kink shame, but I, I, I don't, just not think about that. Um, at least in 21 ignition, you don't have to drive a stomach shrivel up and wheels when they bend. <laughs> You know, that's fair. Use that 1250 you own, the classic one. Ooh. Yeah, that's, it. that's a pretty good shout, you know. Yeah. Oh, no, not the DR. It's a little bit better. Thinking I might smoke the joint before I, if I got before stream tonight. Ooh, baby. <laughs> if you want to have some fun, come and hang out in Simon's stream after this. <laughs> For the oval, though. Uh... 35 horsepower. What what power does the uh, the D tracker have while it's tracking D? It has 29 horsepower, so it's a little bit more. Oh no, hang on. No, I didn't mean to do that. I thought we were back on the main menu. Uh, there you go. Boop. It's the random like a cappella singers in the background. It's actually the sound of Simon's brain right now. <laughs> right. Maybe so. I love the fact Simon was like, I, I, you prick. I want to, I want to disagree with that. You smart ass, but I can't. Right. So, this time we have a Honda NS 250R, I think it was. So this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same as before. We're gonna do production tires. We're going to do exhaust, which increases our horsepower by a whole two. 
Makes all the difference. Our top speed currently is 107 miles an hour. Our hawk's here as well. Hello, hawk. I could do with the smoke. My body hates me today. Oh, you don't like hearing how poorly you and Melly are. Have a lot of hugs. Everybody give, send lots of hugs to Hawk and Mel, all right? That's an order immediately. This moment. Okay, meantime, welcome in. We're playing Tourist Trophy, which is Gran Turismo with motorbikes, literally. And given how much I love the Gran Turismo games, uh, you know, excellent. I'll smoke extra. <laughs> smoke two. <laughs> smoke extra doobies. Anyway, right, let's go. Yamaha RZ250. I hosted you like 20 minutes ago. Oh, well, I, don't, I don't get alerts for hosts for some reason. I really should. But yeah, no, I see down in the bottom left. Plus, I don't know sometimes if those hostings are from a previous stream. Oh no, oh no, where am I going? Also, these is this is skinny tires on this bike. Tiny, tiny tires. I've noticed these bikes, these races we win bikes aren't the ones we are. Aha! So you're thinking could be an interesting run if we use prize bikes. Because challenge bikes are ones you can unlock manually, and they're the ones you right. Yeah, you are right. Okay, I like this. Right. Well, let's see if we can. Uh, do just that with our uh, Suzuki here that we've won. We're 0.9 of a second off the first lap. We can get a slight bit. Oh, we're getting a slipstream. Look at this. We're getting a slingshot. Here we go. Oh, the switchback as well. Two-stroke bush trimmer. <laughs> oh, here we go. The slipstream is the slipstream is real. Here we go. The slingshot. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in the lead. Now, apparently the AI's way to try and get back at us if they're mad about being overtaken is to ram us up the tailpipe, which I don't appreciate really, especially as it's with how unconsensual it is. Right now, you know, it's trying to do the opposite. It's trying to slipstream us, but uh, it's, I mean, it's not working. The little thing is quick though, 130 mile an hour. Yeah, it is. Be interesting to see how this goes on the road circuits in the next round, where the maximum CC limit I think is 600 to 750 CC. Also, final lap presented by a bank. Okay, so firstly we need to come up with a name for our Kawasaki dirt bike, the D Tracker, the Tracker of D, our drug dealer bike, and this is going to need a name in a minute if we win this which we're about to if we make it through three and four successfully for the last time. And I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna. <laughs> you little good thing, look at that. What a win, what a debut. We win by seven tenths of a second on an oval against a bike that is 13 years our junior. Oh, dearie me. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So. That will mean we've now... Oh, also, what, does this, what would this mean we win for this race? We win a prize bike out of it. So, what do we get? It's a Honda XL 250 Moutard. Have we won another dirt bike? We've won another dirt bike. <laughs> if I say KD, do you know what that means? Yeah, Kevin Durant. No, I'm joking. I assume it's kill-death ratio. Colonic, colonic dickhead. 
Colossal dickhead. Cronus, Cronus Dingbat. That's an almost unfortunate name. What's that? So in squads for Fortnite, I have a 6.89 KD. So close to being nice. Can you improve that by 0.1? By 0.01 and make it a 6.9 KD? Anyway. The bike, I just don't know how the name sounds. Oh, Motard. Mm, yeah, I kind of, yeah. I can get that. Right, okay, so. What we're going to do is... So in our quest to try and defeat this game with only my typical in duos is around three. So not nice at all. Not even half nice. So the D tracker, the tracker of D did as well. We're now going to move up to the RZ250, but we've also got the DRZ400 in the bank as well. We've got another person in voice chat now being able to keep track of all the voices is going to get difficult. I feel that. I feel that my auditory sensory processing issues really start to multiply if I'm in voice chat. And, like, I had to leave. One of the reasons I'm not in the most what one on Discord server anymore is I loved hanging out in voice chats there for what's alongs for races and stuff, except when it got over, like, five or six people in there and you had so many different voices competing. You had people trying to be funny over, the, like, jumping and trying to be funny with each other. In jokes that I didn't understand, shouting over each other, people that were ten seconds ahead on their stream spoiling stuff, and I was just like, Nyeh. This is like white noise being screamed straight into my ears by a toddler having a tantrum. So, Street Machine Cup Stage 2, limited street bike, 750cc. I have won these races before with a 250cc normal two-stroke bike, that, like the ones we were racing against in the Stage 1 series. What can our Yamaha do here? We've got Suzuka Circuit East, Suzuka Circuit West, and scuba circuit with an extra chicane because motorbikes. Also, uh, Suzuka has an extra chicane in it. Uh, an extra one chicane because it has a slightly different final corner configuration. Again, be <clears throat> again because motorbikes. Right, we're all. I'd rather place my ear against the dirt bike exhaust than listen to a voice chat with 20 people. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So then, a Yamaha RZ 250 versus a Suzuki GSX-R600. It's giving me a lot to ask, but let's go. Let's see what we can do. On our little Remobile. So why is this my favorite racing game? Oh, this specifically isn't, uh, but it's basically built on the same game engine and graphics and everything as Gran Turismo 4, which is. Uh, Gran Turismo 4 is obviously uh, car racing, this is basically the same game as Grand Turismo 4, but with motorbikes instead. I go, of course, I'm going to like this game a lot, because Grand Turismo 4 is my favorite racing game of all time. And as for why that's my favorite, it just does everything right for me, like the most stuff overall right for me. It gets the nostalgia right. It hasn't aged badly. Um, it's just spot on in so many different areas, the things it does well. Well, I meant GT4, I thought this was a DLC. Oh, I see, right. Because I keep joking that it's Grand Turismo 4 bike DLC. Sorry, it's a bit distracted there. Um, yeah, so, yeah, no, that's for Grand Turismo 4. Even this looks quite good for his age, it does. Let's not forget, Grand Turismo 4, the first ever game in 1080i, in 1080 resolution. All right, what's the gap at the end of the first lap as well? So we've got 2.7 gap, second gap. It even has a first-person view. It does. Look at that. With working hands. Look at the handlebars. Oh my goodness, mate. That's the Rainmeister with the subscription for 18 months in a row. You absolutely wonderful human being, who's also a mod, which also just makes them a lovely human being in general. 
That's, that's the requirement to be a mod in this channel, be a lovely human being. It might be time to break out that beefy 400cc boy, yeah. Well, we'll see. We've still got a lap, and, well, just over a lap to go. I'm going to see as well what the top speed we're getting down this straight is, because we geared this for max speed on the oval. All right, we're in sit here, 120. Yeah, we're, we're nearly there. Stopping at 132 on the over. Okay, so we're close enough. Also, I'm really not very good at this uh, part of Suzuka. On the main Suzuka, it's the other part. Everything from this next corner onwards that I'm good at. So, running just this section really doesn't play to any kind of strength of mine whatsoever. It's going to be close, you know. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. I feel like with a better first lap, we might be in contention there. Also, this thing shreds tyres. The rear tyre is angry orange. So what was the gap there? 1.2 seconds. We closed a lot on the final lap. So I'm going to need to give that another go, you know. Hmm. I hate this track layout from my attempt at recreating the 90s NASCAR races in NR 2003. <laughs> Very fair. Right, so I'm actually going to bump the transmission a little bit shorter so we don't give up too much top speed. Well, barely any top speed, but we'll just get a little bit more acceleration up off the corners. Ah, totally not GT4 bike mode. Exactly. It's the Grand Champion 4 motorbike DLC. Also, you have hula hoops for tyres. There's not much there to wear away. <laughs> There's really not. Also, welcome in, Rainmeister. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a lovely Friday evening. <clears throat> right, so. Here we go. Use that rear brake to really roll the bike through the corner. Like I said, it, it, it is, especially with this game, where it is built on the engine of a popular car racing game that I've played a lot. You go into it with the same graphics, handling, physics, everything else, thinking they're going to handle exactly the same, but they're not, because, spoiler alert, motorbikes handle very differently to cars. So <clears throat> there's a little bit of a, a, an adjustment there. And I guess it's helpful for other bike racing games because I also struggle with that issue in the MotoGP games as well. Like, you just notice another PAL NTSC difference. Oh, really? Oh, we got a slight toe out of the final corner there. Not much. 1.4 seconds off the opening lap. I swear in my version, the two stroke bikes smoke like they would IRL. Oh, really? Oh, we just topped out on top speed there. Not too much. Yep, I had to use the front brake there to stand up the front there, but needs must. We're probably using up a lot of the rear tyre because we're using a lot of rear brakes, so probably the reason there, but it is working. We are so close. We are so close. There's a slight slipstream there as well. 0.9 seconds. Onto the final lap. Oh, 
Oh, that was as fine as we dare. Oh, that was a perfect line through that corner. Not a millimetre more either way. Come on. Come on. He's looking over his shoulder. He's getting rattled. Because the thing is as well, that the AI tyres go off as well. So their tyres will be going off as well. Oh, oh my goodness. No, don't. Don't lunge too early. Don't lunge too early. Go for the send. Go for the send. Yes. 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 Oh my God. We're side by side. Yes. Stand him up. There you go. The run to the line. The run to the line. He's going to have the horsepower advantage. Where's he going to go? Where's the block? Oh. Holy cow. Somebody clip that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Holy cow. That was amazing. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Thank you for the clip, Mike. <laughs> A little good thing pulled it out. I don't know how. But we did it. By 0 0.04. We have to see that again. We have to see that again. Oops, no. I'm just wondering how to change uh, camera angles. So here's a lovely, nice modern at the time of the game's release, Suzuki GSXR 600. You know, a whole 25 years. Yeah, 25 years younger than our bike. Being relentlessly hunted down by a buzzy boy being hunted down by a wasp. The highest tech of the time. Here we go. This is where the gap really started closing. Oh, look at this. We're already slashing through. Look at that. And then out there, I tried. I was like, no, no, no. Don't send there. Send it up to the next corner. And then right here. Look at this. Side by side. Still side by side. Still side by side. There's the wheel. Then it comes up. And then the run to the line. Bearing in mind, the acceleration on this thing would be... Look at that! Oh, yeah. We just had to block as hard as we could on the run to the line. Oh, my word. That was great. That was so cool. <laughs> you do get quite a bit of that in bike racing as well, which is another reason to like it, especially in the lower CC divisions. Source, watch any Moto3 race. Big Valentino Rossi block energy. Look, listen, right, we're on a Yamaha. We had to do what needed to be done. At least we didn't kick him off the bike. It is all I'm saying, okay? All right, what bike do we win out of all that? <laughs> a bike we've already got. But it does have gold fairings and gold rims. So there is that. You know, yeah, you can't complain too much, I guess. I mean, you can. I mean, no, no, you absolutely can. Right, now for the West course, where I feel like I might put the transmission back up a bit because it has, obviously, the long back straight. Up to 130R and all that, so. It's a GSX-R 750 this time. So an even more powerful version of the bike we were just riding. Who is the dude who gave the other rider's, grave the other rider's brake handle to pass it? I assume you meant grabbed the other. It was one of the rudest things I've ever, one of the most dangerous as well. Gee, never mind like pen, being penalized and shit. I like after the after that session, I would just got, got over and punched him. I'm like, so I think this is fair enough given you've just basically tried tried attempted murder. Punch. <laughs> I can't remember who that was. Was there not a guy who got suspended? Was it Maverick Vinales who got suspended from MotoGP this season? He got fired from his team because he got he just basically threw a tantrum and tried to blow his bike up intentionally. You seen the one I'm talking? Yeah, I have. It was a few years ago in Moto Two or Three, I think. He also would kick. Yeah, absolutely. He was a dickhead. Right here we go. Then it was Maverick Vinales. Yeah. The high IQ strat of, I'm having such a tantrum, I'm going to try and blow my own bike up. Who's now racing for a break? Wow, okay. 
because hey, if Carl Larson's proven anything, there's no controversy you can't land upwards from. Being racist? Here, here's the best seat in the series. Thousands of dollars of engine development. Now, nah, fuck it. Yeah, exactly. I think that's why it's nice that. Uh... Oh, Aprilia is definitely not landing. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, fair enough. And Maverick had an attitude problem since his Moto three days. It wasn't him that did the whole braking stunt, was it? I'm trying to remember the name of the guy who did it. I swear he got suspended and. Last I heard, he was back racing, but he was still in one of the lower categories and kind of not really going anywhere with his career. All right, here's the extra chicane at Suzuka because, you know, motorbikes. Oh, God! <laughs> That's not the line. Oh, Romano Fanati. Yeah, I remember that. What an absolute clunge magnet. <laughs> what an absolute clunge master. All right, so this is a pretty good first lap. Well, it will be up until about this moment. Because I feel like this entire straight section is just going to be suffering the highest order. Also, oh God, the run to the line here is going to be terrifying as well. But we have finished the opening lap 1.5 seconds down. We're in this in our nameless Yamaha, but a bike that really does deserve a name after the heroics it's been pulling off. Oh, oh, the leader's, the leader's run wide. He's pulling himself. He's absolutely sharting himself. I don't spy smoke coming out the back of that motorbike. It's shot. It's especially brown smoke coming out the back of that, the tailpipe of that bike. Oh, we were in the wrong gear out of that corner. That did not help. 1.1 seconds. It's still close. We got on the barrel a little bit too early there. A lot of precision involved in riding a motorbike as fast as possible. Which, precision is just not a word I use, especially in racing games. Right in the slipstream though, we're close. Now we're not. Well, we're not in the slipstream anyway. Oh, we got on the gas so much earlier than them out of the corner. Inoki, 90, I like it. 0.9 of a second, coming onto the final lap. Whoa, God. That was close. Come on, please stop. There we go. Oh, play. oh we both run wide. Whoa, oh, my. Okay, I don't. Can we, can we, can we get back onto the tarmac? Now, there we go. I don't know how we didn't fall off in any of those corners. It's probably best that we just move on with our lives and not question it, especially. Here we go. Oh, there is definite brown smoke coming out of those tailpipes now. Well, oh, that's a big tailpipe in your bike there, mate. What's that brown smoke I can see coming out of that? Is that, is that, is that evaporating shot? Oh God, but our tyres are knackered. We just have some flaming, skinny, like, cheese strings. Black cheese strings on our tyres. Oh, gone. on. Oh, there was no room. <coughs> there was no room there, but we made some. Oh God. God, this is going to be so close. Come on, please. Please. You know you want to turn. You know you want to turn. Oh, the same. No. Oh, it's going to be so close. Holy crap. What a race. Very similar to the first round. I feel like if we nailed, our, nailed every lap perfectly, we could do that. We could win it. 
Oh my god, what a battle. What a race. For Antonio, for Inoki. All right, here we go. Just give it another go. Like I said, I think this time, if we can nail it, nail every single... If we have a perfect race, we can do it. Easy. Wasn't Inoki the guy with the huge chin? Yes. The chin of death. The chin of destiny. Sat a place on the Japanese guy. Really does. Really does. It's like someone set up to create a stereotypical Japanese wrestler and then accidentally like no knocked the chin slider to like maximum. Oh god, look at this. We've already caught up. You know what I was saying? It's all in the first lap. It's all in that first lap. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, uh, what's this? Tajiri, small third league wrestler, and this, that like this bike pulled off some of the greatest underdog wins ever. Tajiri is a good one. Tajiri is a good. I respect it. I like it. Yuki would be great on a bike. Oh, absolutely. I like it. Yeah. So his name is Bike Tajiri. Right. So after the first lap. Oh, it's 808 and heartbreak. It's 0.808. Is it going to be 808 and heartbreak for the Suzuki rider? I feel like it might be. Tajiri Inoki. Oh, he's run wide again. The absolute shark's coming out of the rear of that bike right now. You probably, probably do also we're getting a bit of a gap on the final lap because of that run to the line where it's going to absolutely shred us. Oh, the run out of the corners. Look at this. Oh, he drew on side for a moment. For a moment. That was the dude I almost had you moment for the first Fast and Furious. But now I actually do have him. Oh, he's, so, he's sharting so hard, he's gonna have extra thrust. <laughs> oh, it's so. Oh, it, it, no! You, you bullying twat! I see what it is now. He's just bullying us with the extra thickness. He's using his extra girth to bully us. Well, oh, Tajiri's not gonna have that. Tajiri will not stand for this whatsoever. Come on, come on. For once I had to create autocorrect from stopping me from saying something dirty. You know, like autocorrect is supposed to do, except in Super Mike's case, it does the opposite. All right, 1.0 seconds that time, it's close. He's like the car with some bike races right now. You know, no lies detected, really. Oh, I was about as close as we get it. Come on, come on, come on. He's run wide again. Oh God, but our bikes, our tires are starting to go off. Don't fall off now. S stay on it. Kyle Bush, very good. Come on, hang in there. Hang in there, come on, come on. Switch back off the corner. Come on. Come on. Ugh, we're so close. Oi. Oi, you absolute twat nozzle. Right, that's it. Oh, the send. The precision send. Oh, that was. Oh. Right. So now. Oh, he's, he's trying to punt us again. 
he's using every dirty trick in the book, this lad. So we're just going to have to go, oh, straight back up the inside. This is now a street fight. This is an absolute dog fight. And is it one that our little, our little Tadgers is going to come out on top in? Well, we've got the run to the line. We've got the run to the line. Which way is he going to come? Which way is he going to... Oh, we've got the block once. We've got the block twice. Yes! We've done it again! <laughs> this is the greatest bike. I've got to go feed the cats and protect myself and then decide if I need to nap or not. Have a lovely rest of your stream. You have a lovely food and cat feeding and sleeping and stuff. I was half expecting punches to be thrown. It was close. <laughs> We're going to get off the bike and stand and bang in the garage. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to stretch out. Kyle Bush is an ass. <laughs> Uh, accurate. Yeah, see you later, darling. When are you planning on streaming, darling? <laughs> Hello, darling. Good night, darling. Okay, please don't be another Honda. Right, okay. Oh! Okay, so this is a bike you can win in challenge mo- Is it? Intriguing. I don't know if it is, you know. Resage, redeem stretch. Excellent choice. Oh, ow. Oh, excellent choice. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Final round at Scuba Circuit. Can Tajiri do it once again? <laughs> uh, what, what I meant to say was, don't be another Honda Motard, <laughs> like we've already got two of. Uh, uh, excuse me. Right, here we go. Up against the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. We are at Scuba. What's our main advantage been so far? Our handling. What's Scuba mostly about? Handling. They've even emphasized it in this, in this version with an extra chicane. Point two seconds at the first checkpoint. Really working hard out of the hairpin. Like how Ryan and Rhino kept winning a pink toy. Oh, is that where that all started? Come on, there you go. And then back the other way. There you go. 2.5 seconds. Oh, we could have carried a lot more speed out of that corner. Now, obviously, down the back straight, he's going to monster us. <laughs> so I'll allow that in a minute, Corvette fan, or if another mod wants to. I got the gist of what you were saying. <laughs> So nice callback to the F1 2018 career mode series on Armbar Arcade with, a, with my beef with Pierre Gasly. For six seconds, it's close, you know. It drops the mic. I love it. I love it, Mangle. Oh, God. Uh, you know, there was me saying about the extra chicane. It turns out Tajiri doesn't like that chicane. It's a slight issue. Oh, we really could give more gas out of the corner there. Also, what top speed are we hitting? We could definitely drop the transmission for this one. Yeah, we are not getting close to topping out, by the way, so we can definitely drop the transmission a bit here. Round 105. Yeah, there you go. All right, final lap. Sent by a bank. I think this first run is going to have to be, once again, a bit of a scouting run. Not scouting for girls. 
Um, but we'll see how we go. That's a oops. <laughs> that was a bit of a shock. <laughs> bit excessive there, I'll be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on just a second. Oh, yeah. Changing gearing on a bike is easier than a car. You just replace the sprocket on the rear wheel. There you go. Bike maintenance with Mike. Mike's bikes. A new semi-occasional semi segment on AJ Omega. <laughs> on AJ Omega TV. So. Production tires, yes. Sports exhaust, yes. What were we topping out at? 105? 105 for... So if you set it for 110, yeah, that's easy. We've still got we've still gone down a long way. Really maximize that acceleration out the corners, which is where we need to be strong, because obviously our opponent will have the advantage in terms of horsepower up off the corners. <coughs> okay, so ow. Here we go. So Jiri is on the warpath once again. Three point three seconds the gap is to start. That was a perfect line for that corner. Big fan of that. You get on the brakes harder here. Tuck it right in. There you go. That's what you need. There you go. And switch it back. There you go. That's what you want. <coughs> Two point one seconds the gap now. There you go. I just noticed something I'll never run here. Oh God, what's that? You accidentally heard satanic messages in the engine note of this bike. The bike is the go-kart engine sound. Well, would that be because the go-karts had bike engines? Would that be why that is? 3.0 seconds after the opening lap. So I hate to say this, but I, f I think I'm going to have to say this now. I think Tajiri might have met his match finally. Because there is nothing. I've got nothing for this bike. For this Kawasaki round here. Ironically, I'm being slapped up by a Kawasaki. So we'll actually come in and see if we can get another Suzuki. <laughs> we seem to do well against Suzuki's. Minoru Suzuki. <laughs> So, uh, let's see. We'll give it one more go. <coughs> and then we might have to retire Tadgers in before it was your dad riding. Oh, God. Oh, God, can you imagine? It's a Suzuki GS6R 600, like the one we beat in the first round. Let's do it to it. God.
<laughs> about as much as I push it on those rumble strips. Nice run through those corners. It's good. This is about the maximum I'm getting out of Tajiri right now. Two point five seconds. That was a good game that lap. Oh, that was good as well. <laughs> Two point five seconds. It's close again. Come on. I think the straight is just too much. It is. The straights are at it again. Story of my life, really. Come on. Come on. The hustle. The hustle is real. It's funny as well, because it doesn't seem like much of a straight. But in the context of Scuba being so twisty, it really does make a huge difference. Two point two seconds. We're closing, but it's just not by enough across the lap. We'll give it socks on the final lap. We'll give it our best. That's the line. None of you can tell me otherwise. Yep, perfect line through there. It's so close. We're as close as we've ever been. It's one second. I was so tempted to go for a big dive bomb there, but I knew we wouldn't make it. So come back, come back. It's just the straight. No. The straights are at it again. You can say he didn't try. We gave it our best. I think Tajiri has met his match, but he should have been blown. He should have met his match ages ago, to be honest. So, uh, great riding, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Misleading title. Hot race cars. All I see is a hot guy with some motorcycle game. What the hell? Look, the Glisten right? I can barely take it when Simon calls me handsome. I'm not... <laughs> I'm going, you make me blush over here. Also, hello, Movie Chicane. It's lovely to see you in here. Also, yeah, the irony of me bringing back the Hot Race Car Nights name for a stream for a bike racing game. Look, Hot Race Bike Nights or Hot Moods Bike Night, it just didn't work. <clears throat> Likewise, my dude. How's it going? It's it's going well. Uh, I actually sold my sim racing seat today. Excuse me. My place, the Evolution, to make some money for the holidays, for Christmas gifts and things. In the new year, I'll be getting a new sort of fold-up uh, sim racing stand mount thing. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm quite excited with that because I just I just can't fit a hard standing rig in my room as it stands, where especially where this has to be my office area as well. But uh, made some decent money out of it. The guy that bought it off me, he was really nice. He had picked up a Thrustmaster TV 300 on his way over. He's basically just getting into sim racing proper. So this is like my first sim racing rig. So uh, hopefully he's got it all together fine, which he should do. Uh, he's got a very good setup right out the gate. And he's got TLCM pedals as well. <clears throat> if it was Tuesday, you could call it two-wheel Tuesday. You could do that. You could do that. But unfortunately, it's not. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to pick this. Let's 
else is it? It's another, it's another dirt bike. Is a dirt bike going to come to the rescue again? Is this what you're telling me here? Is this what you're telling me here, game? Is this really what's about to happen? Did you see Lando's helmet? It glows in the dark. So, that, no, that's not an innuendo. Stop it. No, I didn't. Revenge of Dirt Bike York. <laughs> yeah, earlier on, Chicane, we uh, started off our career mode, I guess you could call it, in the racing campaign in the first series, looking for competitive matchups, because obviously this is a Gran Turismo game, and Gran Turismo AI are on a par with old BDs going down the corner shop to get some bread rolls. Um, so, you know, I'm doing the usual underpowered car uh, vehicle to uh, compete. So we started off with a Kawasaki D-Tracker, pulling off some big wins, but it was a dirt bike against like actual road bikes. And uh, yeah, we're bringing back the dirt bike, Yorb. You have a dirty mindset. Yeah, I think we established this. I think we, had a, uh, we established this a while ago. Right, so same as before. <coughs> What we're going to do is we're going to put nice, tasty production tyres on. They're slightly better than the street tyres. Dirty mine and a dirty bike. Yes. We're going to get one more horsepower, one extra horsepower from our... We're also going to bump the gearing up because it's topping out at 99. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a uh, scuba. That shouldn't matter too much. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, Hopefully. Here we go, we're up against the Yamaha YZF R6. Not a big old dirt bike. The dirt bike job is back. Martin Brosnan is back, is back in his element. Aboard a dirt bike running drugs for the mob in East London. This is the beefiest bike we've ridden yet, it really is. Is that extra girth gonna help us to victory? I feel like it might do. It feels way more responsive on the throttle and it acce accelerates. It feels way more, yeah, it does feel way more responsive on the throttle. Oops, oops, okay, we're not, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna catch up a bit. It, it's a dirt bike, look, listen, right? Look, we're just gonna pretend that fall never happened. I basically self BOP'd, <laughs> I BOP'd myself there. <laughs> Right, so. Nice, nice. What's the gap at the end of the first lap? 1.5 seconds. This is already better. Oh, guys, this is on. This is on. Oh, go on. Oh, the, the acceleration out of the corner. Look at this. The dirt bike Yorb is back, and this time it's personal. Oh, my God. Look, look listen, right. Are you really... Oh, oh. <laughs> side by side. It was the superior acceleration of the 600cc road bo sports bike next to us. It, oh, but the sand... Imagine being on a Yamaha 600cc road bike, sports bike, and getting absolutely sent by a Yorb on a dirt bike. And now he can't get past it. He can't get past it because our massive girth is just all up in his grooms. He has no idea what to do. Oh, man. Well, dirt bike Yorb 2.0 is really coming together here. Final lap presented by the bank that we've just been involved in robbing the bank that we use this motorbike as a getaway vehicle for robbing. Sponsored by a bank robbery. The way he's going, he's basically going to end up being like fucking... Martin Brosnan's basically going to be East London's version of flipping... Um, oh, God, what was he called? in uh, The actor in uh, Point Break. Shit, sure, I can't remember his name. Dirty Dancing Lad. Um and Vin Diesel in the first Fast and Furious, which is quite funny, because looking back at it, the Fast and Furious one is basically point break. 
but they've replaced the surfboards with JDM cars. And to be honest, I'm quite cool with that. that that's a good idea. That's not foam padding in your suit, it's stuffed with cash. <laughs> Is it Patrick? It's Patrick Swayze, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we're like East London's version of Patrick Swayze in Point Break. You know, just just ride the bikes, man. Oh, does anyone remember, by the way? And I remember seeing this back in the day. And then forgetting it ever existed until Double Toasted did a bad film review of it. There was basically an attempt to do Fast and Furious, but on motorbikes. Back in like 2003 or 4, and it was bollocks. I mean, it was steaming huge bollocks. And I think it even was like the same producer from the first Fast and Furious film. There was someone involved producing the first Fast and Furious who went away to do this. And it was basically like trying to take the piss out of the Fast and Furious. It was like, yeah, we're better than Fast and Furious anyway. And it was like, oh, no, you're not. You're really not. <laughs> Please stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. It might be called like Talk or something. I don't know. Yamaha OZ250 Racing Modify. Excellent. Oh my god, is that... It's Racing Tajiri! It's Tajiri Racing version! <laughs> oh yes, it's all coming full circle in the best way possible. I am so here for it. Oh, look at the retro number font. That's cool. Love that. Big fan of that. So. We've finally beaten Street Machine Cup. Stage two. There's four stages of it, by the way. So 1,000 CC and then unlimited. So I guess we stay on the uh, Do It Bike Yob 2.0 until there's such a time that we don't need it or we're getting outmatched. Different selection of tracks this time as well. Trial Mountain, Midfield, and Autumn Ring. A trio of Gran Turismo Originals. Let's get down on it. Let's do this. Let's get all the cash out of our uh, uh, leathers. Let's quickly sneak all the cash out of our leathers and put it into like duffel bags, put it into brown bags. We are up against an MV Augusta F4000S. So there is that. But we are on a mountain. So I feel like a dirt bike will feel like it's at home. All right, here we go. Let's see what dirt bike job 2.0 can do. This series will probably be the stream main event, by the way. I notice we are coming up on 10 o'clock. 2.5 seconds at the first checkpoint. All right, so. We've gained a lot. Obviously, down the back straight, we're going to suffer some pain. 1.1 seconds, though. I feel like Dirt Bike Yob 2.0. Dirt Bike Yob 2.0. I mean, here's where it's going to struggle, really. The grip it has, though. Mega Yob X. <laughs> well, we've already upgraded from running, like, weed from smuggling weed to actually doing bank robberies on this thing. So Martin Brosnan, he's using it to, he's putting it to good use. We're now just under a second behind. This is on. I like the fact that the first lap in these races is just me scoping out whether a win is possible or not. So by the end of the first lap, you'll get my review of either it's on or eh, I'm not sure about this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and the run out of the final chicane. Oh my God, did you see that? Somebody clip that, please. The gap across the start finish line was plus 0 0.00.000. 000. We dead heated across the line on the first lap. That's unbelievable. If someone can clip that, that would be amazing. Thank you, Mike, appreciate that. Oh, that's amazing. And now we're 0.696 seconds up which is it's much nicer, to be honest. I believe there's a 450 dirt, but oh, nice. So what was Rainmeister's comment that I was trying to read before I accidentally dead-heated? 
the extended straights on the GT7 version will make it even better. Yeah, I mean, as much as we're all memeing about the final chicane being ruined, I think it'll work better as an actual racetrack that way. Uh, and yeah, the longer back straight will help. Meantime, it, it, I, I, this guy's just like, please can this track be shorter? Please can this, oh, look at the speed though. The speed. It's the only thing he has over us. And really, that's kind of nothing. He's just kind of impotent otherwise. Yeah, can you imagine if that... Oops! Can you imagine if I didn't ram into the back of him because he breaks so early? Oh, God. My guy, you are just embarrassing yourself. I hope you're aware of that. <coughs> oh, the run. Where did that bring you back to me? <laughs> Oh god, the switch back. Oh god, the switch. Oh, got the punt. Oh, it's going another dead heat across the line. <laughs> 0 0.048 this time. <laughs> Will the gap be more or less than a. T all right, all right. I think this guy's getting heated. I think he, uh, he doesn't like the disrespect we're putting on him, the lack of respect we are putting on his name, which, quite frankly, I don't think he deserves. So, uh. <clears throat> We're just going to retake the lead. 0, 0.0. This is amazing. This race. This, he's trying to come up the inside. This race is ridiculous. And I absolutely love it, Miguel. This is peak Gran Turismo here. So you can tell it's spiritually a Gran Turismo game. You find the right kind of weird matchup in terms of finding a competitive race. And you just get absolute magic. When you find the perfect match, yep. Soup Mike, I don't know where your suggestion came from to be like, lol, why don't we try dirt bikes? Well, here he comes again. But, once again. Oh, the lovely, oh, the switch back. Run up the hill. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a photo finish, isn't it? We've basically done a dry run for the finish, the first two laps. Oh God, although, we're gonna sneak up the inside here. Oh, yes. What a move. What a maneuver. What a maneuver. Oh, oh. Our, tire, our front tire is shagged. Worth making a note of that. <laughs> oh, God. All right, here we go. Final chicane. Hold your breath. Oh, oh we got it. We got it. Oh, we're just going to do it. Yes. Oh. 0.855, what a yawning chasm at the flag. Goodness me. God, what a blowout win that was in the end. <laughs> Holy hell, what a race. Also, I've just realized if that was tricky enough, midfield, which is mostly a power track, uh, I'm not feeling confident about that, but we move. Martin Brosnan, and the dirt bike Yorp 2.0. <laughs> They're doing bits out here. Things you love to see. It. <laughs> Things you love to see. It. Mm. I must finish my water. It says a lot that I've been on the water since finishing my beer earlier. <sighs> Think we're going to unlock some more clothes. Hey, we've unlocked some more clothes. Well, a few. Uh, some helmets. Have we, <coughs> have we just unlocked our rival's bike? We have. What we didn't know is that that was actually a pink slip race. <laughs> he got off his bike in the pits and just stormed off. And his crew were like, I don't think he wants his bike anymore. Do you want to, do you want to have it? It's your prize. Oh, all right then, fine. All right, here we go. A 1,000cc MV Augusta, a very expensive high-end bike, just got slapped up by some chap on a dirt bike. Yeah, a sports road bike just got duppied by a chav on a, by an East Ender on a dirt bike. Things you absolutely love to see. Oh boy. Have you ever rode a bike or been passenger? No, actually. 
Um, my dad was a biker for a long, long time, for about 15 years, I think, with his uh, street racing tuned with, like, World Superbikes, MotoGP-level tuner parts, Kawasaki 1100R. But when he stopped riding, he, didn't, he said he never would again because he didn't trust other people on the road and he kind of didn't really want me doing it either, so... He quit bikes altogether after losing to you. That's how you got the bike. He just left it lying on the track. He just walked out the gates of the circuit and got a bus to the, got a taxi to the airport. <laughs> All right. Well, we're laughing about it. I'm not feeling as confident about this one because it midfield is definitely a power track. We're up against a Ducati 99R, which is nothing but power and base. From its, I want to say it's a V4. Ducati's like going for like thick motors. I was a passenger on a little Suzuki Freedom in Guatemala without a helmet because Central America, Central America. So you're on a Suzuki Freedom without a helmet because America, because America Central Edition. Having said all of that, 1.7 seconds the gap. We might be in this. There might just be enough corners for the dirt bike yob to still do bits here. Yeah, I would love to ride a motorbike one day. I'd love to, but I'm not sure how much use I'd actually get out of it on the roads because I kind of share my dad's opinion. People are stupid. <laughs> People are stupid. It's not that I don't trust myself to ride safely. I just don't trust anyone else to drive safely around me. But I do want to go see the uh, British Superbikes more because they have like two or three events a year at Brands Hatch right up the road. And they're always massive, like really popular. Been a couple of times in the last five years. Uh, I'd love to go and watch it again. It's always a good time. Uh, well, are you saw in a 1986 Katana. Yeah, there you go. The US has helmet rules though there. Me, but when I'm behind the wheel of a car, what's that? Not trusting, I hate people. My brother and stepdad both ride bikes. Oh, do they? That's cool. I trust myself to be able to get through tighter gaps, but I don't trust anyone else. Yeah. It, it's a good policy for the road, to be honest. Like my dad said, even when he did ride a bike, he just said, assume everyone on the road is trying to kill you. And that kind of kept him safe, really. <clears throat> I might have to catch him on chat after the race, by the way, because it's hard to keep up with chat and, and race effectively. My stepdad is also a train spotter. Excellent. Excellent. These are quality marks of a person. I'm assuming your stepdad isn't my biological dad. That would be a bit strange. <coughs> but it sounds like your stepdad and my biological dad would have a good chance of getting along. Rear ending. <laughs> Sorry, just out of context, I just saw that Mike's last message was rear-ending, and I'm like, uh, do I want to know? Imagine that. Deciding factor would be which football team do they support? Well, my dad, despite being South London born and bred, supports Wolverhampton Wanderers. You know, that famously South London team. Uh, oh, no, wait, they're in the West Midlands. <laughs> It was a family association, so he's just kept it on board. Um, so yeah, that's his team. Or the Mighty Wolves, as he likes to call them. Although, since he'd seen how happy AFC Wimbledon makes me supporting them, my stepdad sports Liverpool bees from Somerset. Right, you know what I said about this being a bit too much of a power track? I feel like that might be coming true. Because that gap has really not been decreasing much throughout the race. But it's close enough that I'm thinking we might be competitive if I knuckle down and really focus. 1.5 seconds. It's close enough. My favourite Grand Turismo Fantasy track, by the way. Midfield's up there for me. I really like how simple it is. I love, I love the fact that there's a version for a set of Corsa. I, I really hope that it gets like more finished, because I think it's still only a beta version. But I love being able to drive it in a set of Corsa, especially with the uh, Grand Turismo hard mods you can get. 
So, final score at the end of this one is 2.8 seconds at the flag. I used to test all my cars on midfield because it's a good track for speed and handling. It really is. Right, so I'm going to give that another spin. Because like I say, I feel like... All about the first lap. All about the first lap. I think if you really nail the opening lap, you're right in contention. It's simple enough to get consistent lap times. Yeah, well, do you remember when I did that thing where I did the stream of... And I'd like to do it again sometime. The whole problem was I was planning on editing it down into like a Top Gear magazine show afterwards. And I was like, I don't have time for more editing in my life. Um, when I did that stream with the Toyota GR010 hypercar, the fantasy Toyota at Le Mans race, uh, and I wanted to do a power lap for it, and I tried doing it at Bathurst, which was a, a bit of a mistake. One does not simply go to Bathurst in a car they've never driven there before, and just expect to bang out laps cleanly and live to tell the tale. So afterwards, I was like, I found the version of Midfield Raceway, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this would be a perfect power lap track. Oh, no, please. There we go. Oh, I'm very, I did not realize that bit was tarmacked. And I'm very grateful that it is. One point two seconds. You see, it's close around the opening lap. It's just it's just this slight bit down here called the front straight that I think we're suffering on, but it's close enough that I think, you know. <clears throat> Two point eight seconds again at the flag, at the line, I should say. Lovely line through the first few corners. Oops. Oops. 2.1 seconds. They are starting to pull away a little bit now. Right. Give it the beans. There you go. That's a good run. It's the middle sector where we're really good, but it's not quite enough to close the gap overall. Look how much we do close the gap. 1.0 seconds. There you go. As soon as you go over the brow of the hill, the power comes on and they're just gone. But like I said, it's close enough. 2.4 seconds. <laughs> Flat out through here. Perfect. That'll do. That'll do very nicely. Final lap presented by the bank that we've just robbed again. That we're trying to rob again. One point six seconds. That's about as close as the gap's been down this section of the track. Whoa! Rear end jump. The rear wheel jumped up then under braking. That was a bit spooky. That was a bit spooky. Oh, we're so close. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. I think that's the race gone. I'm going to have such a good run out of the corner. Presented by Pacific Standard Deposit Bank from GTA 5. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think about that. Oh, I think Dirt Bike Yob has found its limit here. But what was the final track? presented by Pacific Standard Deposit Bank from GTA 5 because you have to rob it again for every re-release. <laughs> oh, I like it. <clears throat> very good, very good. Mm. Right, so 
what's the final track? Is it, oh, it's Autumn Ring. I'd fancy, I'd fancy the dirt bike girl, but Autumn Ring. I'll be honest. I'd fancy it there. Autumn Ring. Yeah, there you go. So I think this race will be our stream main event. <coughs> And we're up against Kawasaki again. Oh, no. Oh, help me. Oh, God. Father, <laughs> Father, what I have, I have sinned. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father, for what I have sinned. All right, here we go. <coughs> <coughs> Would really help if my throat didn't stop working. This is, by the way, the full autumn ring. Oh, we are gaining a lot as well. Look at this. Told you I thought we'd uh, we'd be good here. I apologise, but after we were losing 1-0 for long, I must scream, Super Brentford! I'm going to assume the score is now either 1-1 or 2-1. One of those two things. Oh, my God. Oh, this lad's getting swarmed. Oh no. Oh no. What's the. Oh no. 2 1 win full time. Nice. Well done. Who against? I'm sorry if there's any fans of the opponent team in chat. Things you love to see. Indeed. Watford. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't like Watford anyway, so they can get in the bin. Just get slapped up, lads. Oh god. Watford and Leeds seem to be the two teams I really don't like in the Premier League now. Mostly with Leeds, it's. Just, oh god. Mostly with Leeds, it's just... Uh, I believe they were accused... They had fans accused of homophobic chanting at Crystal Palace game earlier this season. And then their chairman... Because there was these like things coming out about like, you know, maybe we should stop English football being so fucking extortionate and overpriced and ripping off its own fans. The first person to come out and be like, well, no, no, no we don't want it to be all Marxist. We don't want a Maoist society. We don't want all the top teams being governed too strictly was the Leeds chairman. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yeah, of course. Of course, the chairman on means, means, pounds. Of course, he doesn't want more restrictions around this kind of thing. Obviously not. So basically, if you're a Leeds United season ticket holder, your chairman doesn't give a toss about you. I mean... Also, look at the six Super League clubs that, well, that tried doing the Super League next year. You mean the man who needs to be hit with a chair? Yes. Um, yeah, look at the six clubs that tried joining the Super League last year. Gee, do you remember that? Was that last year or like earlier this year, but last season? God, oh, I can't even remember. The last two years may as well have been an entire decade. Meantime, um, you know, I didn't mean for this stream main event to be such an anti-climax, but uh, it ain't really my fault when the, when our opponent is such a dribbling, a, a dribbly spaff. It's the Super League inherently wasn't an awful idea. The idea of permanent clubs in it, the way it was marketed, was the bit that yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It was weird because there was no real good guy out of that. Like people supported UEFA because they were against it, but then everyone was also like, "But also UEFA are corrupt as fuck as well." So uh, <laughs> it was like that brief. Uh, what was it like Epic versus Get Epic Games versus? St well, uh, no, it wasn't Steam. Was it Apple? It was like Apple versus Epic or something. It was like the war of two conglomerates, massive multi-billion-dollar corporations, and people were like, "Oh yeah, one Epic win." We love this team. We're so good that they defeated this team. Really? Really? <laughs> this is what we're doing now. This is, this is what we're doing now. We're now standing. Don't stand for corporations. I will never understand people that run into, like, defend corporations. Like, 
They really don't care about whatever person is randomly saying shit about them on the internet. And they especially don't care about you. You're not going to get a loyalty card discount because you stuck up for them on Twitter, you bootlicking shill. <clears throat> I feel like the old 250 Yamaha the ones, but yeah. I never understand people who run. <laughs> Valid. Why is it? <laughs> you can just walk, you know. But uh, yeah, so um, stream main event. Bit one-sided in the end. <laughs> Least of all, if you've already bought whatever product they're selling. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. Anyway, the last two years don't exist. We need to start over in 2019. Amen. I agree. I concur. Ah, oh, well, that's a satisfying way to end tonight's action. Um, yeah, that'll do it for tonight. It's been Tourist Trophy. It's been a lot of fun. And here's the question for you. Does this become a series? Because I'm down to. I've been playing this game a lot, a lot anyway offline recently. So, uh, lovely stream as always. Thank you, Mike. And like I say, if I'm not going to be... And yes, <laughs> all those in favour of this doing a, becoming a full Let's Play series, say aye. Because I feel like I could beat this. CB750F, we've just won a 79 Honda CB750. Oh, look at that. That's tasty. That's very sexy. That is very sexy. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> all right. Okay, well... Well, thanks to COVID, we have had at least an interesting last two F1 series. Yeah. Interesting for, yeah, in many ways. Thank you, Melly. Appreciate that. Hope you and Hawk can have a, a, a nice enough evening and a good weekend. Um, and that both of you feel a bit better very soon. Um, sending you lots of love. Um, <clears throat> and thank you for sticking by tonight. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's just, it's also saved already, but I'm going to do a double save just to make sure. Save, there we go. Yeah, I'm down to play more of this. And the fact that it's not quite as deep um, as Gran Turismo 4, like the head crushing depth. I mean, I mean, here's the events and there's the challenge mode and that's kind of it. And the licenses, of course. I could see us being able to complete this on stream. Like a lot of games, like all the Gran Turismo games so far. I've, I mean, GT5, I still want to come back to. Obviously right now I haven't got a wheel set up, but when I get set up with that again, we'll come back to Gran Turismo 5. I promise. Um, but yeah, the, the Grand Turismo games are so deep and there's so much to do that it's hard to complete them without losing interest or things getting in the way and they sort of fall by the wayside. This, I can see myself beating. Plus, we've also got Need for Speed Carbon to complete at some point as well. Double saves can give you life. They can. I say it every stream and it doesn't make it any less true. Best channel and streamer on Twitter. Aww. Thank you, Corvette fan. I appreciate it. I appreciate that very much. You're all very kind and very lovely. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to... Aww. Stop it, you made me blush. You're going to make me cry. Um, and there's the last bit of water. So what we're now going to do is... To conclude tonight's festivities is we're going to find someone to go and raid... There's 13 people online on my list. Oh, there are. Oh, there's a lot of people. Like, honestly, discovering you improved my life. <laughs> this is like the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> oh. So I've just sort of melted into a puddle of feels. I really am in my feelings right now because I'm just in a melted puddle of them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so... Who have we got here? I think, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pay the lovely Laura K. Bars a visit. Uh, she's a fantastic, she's a fantastic human being, an amazing games journalist, a fabulous icon, a fabulous trans woman, pronouns are she, her, uh, autistic and ADHD, an uh, inspiration to me working in the games industry for years, uh, well, as a games journalist and as a journalist. A constant source of inspiration for me as a neurodivergent person who's absolutely killing it in everything they do. This would be AJ if you got to meet George. Yes, you know, you're totally right. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go and pay uh, Laura a visit. She's playing some more. Um, where are we at? Bush? No. <laughs> um, 
Right, yeah, we're just going to have a 30 second ad play. Oh, Russell. Yeah, no, not George Bush. Mike, fuck off. <laughs> right. She is continuing on her quest through Pokemon Brilliant Diamond slash Shining Pearl. So I, I think that makes sense to some people. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, good. she's playing some Pokemon. Let's go hang out. She's lovely. Quite a few times on Friday night, she's played a lot of Train Simulator recently. She is a massive train nerd. Oh, and reminder, she has the most amazing blue hair. So when we get in there, everyone say her hair is amazing. Because I, I, I told you to. So, uh, yeah. Let's go hang out over there. Whatever you choose to do with your with the rest of your evening. I hope you have a lovely time doing so. And I will try and stream over the weekend. Uh, maybe on Sunday. Uh, before the F1 Destruction Derby finale. <laughs> F1 Burnout Season finale. And <clears throat> meantime, have a lovely rest of your Friday. And have a brilliant weekend. Love you all very much. Good night.